No. Two pinches of salt. And gun. Imera blue, the essence of fear. <laughs> Ragnarok red. The blah, blah. Okay, dude, just shoot your stupid gun. Just, can you just, yeah, just just attack, dude. Like, it's it's a trigger. It's really easy. It was also you back when anime dubs weren't great either. We're also live. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello, going, and everybody? welcome to Movie Folk. Going well. You know the I'm number of the movie you'd like to watch. Press peanut butter now. filled pretzels. Well, mm. I will not come over there and kiss you then. What? You're allergic? Mm. Allergic? I'm allergic to peanuts. Be best Let's to stay out of my house. I have a lot of peanuts here. It, it is. A, well, it, it is now a defense mechanism. Uh, now we can't be friends. Oh. <laughs> uh, damn. damn. Okay. Try to kill me once and we're good, but have an arsenal prepared against me. I don't know. <laughs> To be fair, I adopted a bunch. I, I adopted a bunch of animals because my ex mother in law was allergic to all of them. So <laughs> my my dogs my hands and do poison damage. <laughs> if if I ever <laughs> what the hell? Thank you, Johnson. Can we, <laughs> can we once? You're welcome. That was about a good Christian side, huh? <laughs> Don't fuck oh. with me. I'll cry. <laughs> uh, hi everybody a couple weeks ago. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Gobtober uh, <laughs> White Blue Mountain episode 2 we're Let here and we're <laughs> gonna play some f funny module goblins funny goblins ha ha funny ha ha very 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 laughs with, with many kelpie much Soon to be Joe fewer Kelpie, Kelpie, hopefully. Hopefully. Very humor. But unlikely. <clears throat> I, I don't... What, well, what, what is a group of Kelpie called? Like, uh... A Kelpie. A floret? I believe it's called a salad. A salad of Kelpie. <laughs> yeah. Mm, future salad. stock. An, el future an algae. Stock. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, yeah, invest in Kelpie coin today. Mm, oh, no. uh, don't, 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 don't actually, don't actually do that. Toys. It's all a scam. Don't do that. That might be a real thing too. That's the worst part. Uh, Kelpie coin. I don't know. Sheba's been paying off for me lately. Just... Yeah. Oh boy. Let's Kelpie. go down the line and introduce oh, ourselves. Caitlin, who are you, and where can they find you? What are you up to? Who are you? I think you chose the one person that wandered away. I thought she was back. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I, I, she she said she w had to like go take care of something like a few minutes ago. I think even before you went live. Oh, I thought I heard her come back. Well, I'm let's start with someone me. else then. <laughs> Gaijin, where can they find you? What are you up oh. to? Are we doing this alphabetically? Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Uh, as well as YouTube at Gaijin Goomba Media and Gaijin Perspective. Um... Just got done beating Metroid Dread. 9.5 out of 10. I'm looking forward to starting that. I have a few grievances, but it honestly, the things that I don't like about it, I don't like about it because of the kind of games that I like rather than it being poor design. So take that for what it is. Um, got a new video coming up this weekend over on the main channel uh, talking about Shuten Doji from... Uh, uh, fate, the the the, uh, the fate series, and I think I'm gonna be okay not getting demonetized because she's literally wearing two pieces of wire, and that's about right. it. Uh, but no, it's Go it's super. On. It's it's super. <laughs> Lanny, she's a lolly. Oh, never mind. There you go. <laughs> um, so, I mean, that's a matter uh, of opinion. Anyway, <laughs> but no, it's it's really interesting because just like Tamo no Mai, uh, I'm finding out some really interesting things, not only about what Fate says about her canon, but what her folks, what her folk story and folklore is like IRL. There's a big ass tragic story involving him, her, and uh, I, I hope you all enjoy it. I hope it gives you a little bit more appreciation for Fate if you are a Fate fan. Um... Let's see probably gonna be doing a build stream this weekend i've really want to do something chill uh i'll probably need it after that upload but i've got like five or six more uh model kits of sd gundam in a good old sengoku japan theme oh, yeah. so it'd be good uh 
that's pretty much it for me. I have got I've got the stupidest idea for a video for guide your perspective. Um, how to tie an Obi if you're just too damn fat. That's that is a real thing. I call it the fat man clam. And I'm going to okay. end on that note and go get more tea. That's gonna be useful for me. <laughs> dumb dumb question. What's an Obi? Uh, you know, you know, you know those big wraparound belts for like yukata and kimono and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's basically that. Okay. Oh my god, like, like a sash. Like... <laughs> you okay, Mark? What, oh, Mark? He died. Fat man clown. Yeah, well, Caitlin. it's either the fat man clan or the futo kai, and that sounds oh. too cool to be what to be what this is. <laughs> That's gonna be my finishing move. The no. futo kai. The futo no. kai. Oh my god. I, I broke Mark. I'm feeling good. Who's next? I'm gonna go get more tea. Lanny, who are you? Where can they find you? Do you have any revolutionary oh, clothing shit. techniques? Oh my god. Uh, I, I wish I had some revolutionary clothing techniques because half my shit doesn't fit anymore. Um, I am Lanny. You can find me all over the internet. Lanny Pator. I've uh, been playing some Alan Wake. Just finished chapter three a little bit earlier if anybody was hanging out in the channel over there. Uh, gonna keep going with that a bit tomorrow, uh, as well as a bunch of other things. Also at the TalkCast Pod show earlier today on twitch.tv slash stream 4star. Be able to catch that out on 4star Bento, where, uh, Jesse and I talked about Squid Game. <clears throat> Good show. Highly recommend. If you want to hear Jesse and I's take on it, definitely check it out on 4star Bento a little bit later on. Uh, other than that... As soon as I'm done with Alan Wake, I'll probably move on to Metroid Dread because I've been looking forward to that. My Switch has been staring at me over in the corner there, but I just haven't had time to start it. Uh, beyond that, if you're not all D&D'd out over here, over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Lanny Pator, we run a little campaign on Mondays called The Ties That Bind. Caitlin and Connor both joined me for that one, as well as our little buddy Shadow says. Dancer Bob. It's, it's a quaint little thing where uh, you... <laughs> Maybe uh, have to deal with a guy that's creating demons that lives in an extra dimensional space who's, you know, may, may or may not be your fault that he's there. Uh, so, yeah, th uh. th there's there's been revelations and things abound as you're trapped in a, quote, post-apocalyptic future. So, yeah, yeah, fun, fun times to be had as uh, a suicide mission approaches. Huh? Good stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't say anything about suicide. What was the last part? I didn't hear just... anything that would set off any kind of red flag. So yeah, don't, just don't worry that. about it. Just tune in and enjoy. Crimson flag. <laughs> Crimson. Just, uh, excuse me, my bad. Crimson. Yeah, flag. She, yeah. She, I, I just know isn't Yeah, Shadow, Shadow had it pretty bad this last episode. He's... Oh yeah. yeah, Bob had a had a battle time. Had, had Bob's a bit of a no oopsie. good, very bad day. <laughs> no good, very bad dream. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Woo! Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me over on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr., here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming, and you can follow the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life On Sunday, I was out in the field chasing storms and... The stream actually went really well compared to the last time I did it. So nice. hopefully when tornado season actually picks up again in March for real, because this little October period is sort of a pseudo tornado season. Um, but next year I'll be all set for like actually streaming from the field. It'll be great and fun and awesome. Ooh. Um, I'd, I'd actually really dig going out with you on one of those at one point. Uh, I promise we'll I won't bring peanuts. Uh, we'll oh my I would God. be so Come down on. for that. So... Well, um, but yeah, also, uh, on Twitch, I do Pokemon streams and we're, we're probably going to dial down on the Pokemon for a little while. It's, it's really hard to find evolving skies right now because I'm, I'm still trying to find all those Sylveons, but it's, it's hard to find packs. Um, there's a lot of celebration stuff out there, but there's not anything in celebrations that I'm super stoked about. So we may actually get back to playing video games. Oh, dang. I know. Oh I, it's, it's I've, I've almost forgotten what they are. Um, so tomorrow, uh, check my stream tomorrow night. I should be playing something. I don't know what yet. Um, we might jump back into Pokemon Snap because I still haven't finished that. 
and that's at least still Pokemon related, so it'll be like a nice little buffer zone. Um, and we'll chat and have a good time and hang out, and it'll be fun. By the way, just that's a uh, a slight addendum. Speaking of storms, we got a little bit of a thunderstorm cooking up out yeah, there. Yes, uh, I was about three, to talk about that. Yeah, oh, th no. th 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 three of us are currently sharing the same thunderstorm. So <gasps> yeah, just, just just in case, we'll, you know. If we, we don't, it, you know I now, mean, it's not expected to be severe. It if doesn't seem it doesn't seem like it is, but I saw lightning and thunder and just wanted to bring it up. Well, if anything back should up, happen, up your... we will we'll, we'll deal with it just, when it happens. Just Godspeed. Yeah, Nothing God else. <laughs> so anything speed. happens. God God Godspeed. Ah, Spider-Man. <laughs> and speaking of goblins, Thera, where can they find you? You Hi. <laughs> you can find me right here playing a goblin, but um, Woo. yeah. You can also find me over at um, twitter.com therapodart. There I post all my art and stuff. Um, I pretty much got nothing new going on besides just doing the usual. Posting art, posting pictures of my lizard, um, eating lots of cheese. Um, wow. You can also find Great. me. Polite. Yeah, yeah. Commissions are open, so if you find my email, I'll, I'll draw, draw whatever, whatever the fuck you want. Porn costs extra, but I'll do it. Um, Twitch.tv Therapod Art is where you can watch me draw. Not the porn, though. That's done off stream. Um, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That's for OnlyFans. Sorry, that's... ladies. I don't have an OnlyFans. If you see a Therapod Art OnlyFans, that's not that. That's a scammer. Don't don't that's trust fine. them. See, you need to you need to <laughs> you need to make an OnlyFans in order to claim it. I yeah. I do have a Patreon where I did just upload something something risque that if y'all y'all pledge five dollars, you can see the naughty stuff a month before it comes out. But is Ooh. it porn? Yeah, there's there's nips. Okay, it's porn adjacent. And someone needs to have the OnlyFans username. Like clam man. Oh my god, clam, clam man. man! Yeah, I'm the clam man from I earlier. Like, welcome out. to my I den of clams. clams. He he needs he needs to <laughs> pop out of like a big giant clam like prom. No, his OnlyFans content like is just him gooker? slurping. It's just he's him slurping. Big, it's, wait, he's it's the just big clam beano. <laughs> the big the big <laughs> clam beano. <laughs> That's that's almost as good as all, the Gaba Ghoul. All he does, all he does, is just like mukbang shellfish. That's it. Oh my, oh my god, that sounds god. awful. Like mm. just the all Gaba the slurping Ghoul noises. and the great Clambino. I want it so much now. But yeah, I do art. That, I, oh, sorry. I do, I do, I do bullshit. <laughs> just that's what I do. He can draw the great Clambino. <laughs> I'll fucking do it for the right amount of cash. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll give him a Tommy gun. Ooh. I'll do it. As, oh as the million God. dollar man says, everyone has a price. Yep. You guys are killing me today. Oh my God. And speaking of the great Clambino, Caitlin, where can they find you? And what are you up to? Clam uh, You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog here on Twitch. It's Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's because Twitch doesn't like boobs. Um, lately, I've been immersed in my projects. But that's going to clear up soon, and then I'll start streaming again. Uh, for real this time. Hell yeah. I have some secret things I've been working on for the last year that are about mm -hmm. to be finished, and I'm very excited about them. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, so if any of you play Cookie Run Kingdom, uh, there was a new cookie released recently that is Mala Sauce Cookie, and that is me. Yeah. Oh, dang, you're an official cookie. I'm an official cookie. I'm the spiciest <laughs> cookie. Nice. Um, but yeah, so if any of you play Cookie Run Kingdom, take a picture of her and show me because that makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah. How about you, Connor? They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, me, myself, probate... Uh, hey, Mr. Rabbit and our buddy Luke, <clears throat> Count Widget. Uh, we played Atmosphere yesterday, and I have to say, it was a legendary time. That game was just as chaotic as I thought it was going to be, and we got some we got some great stuff. If if you get a chance to experience Atmosphere, please do. It's it's 
good for a one-off. It, it's probably not good for subsequent playthroughs, but the first playthrough is an experience. Oh. The VOD for that will be up very soon. Uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Very chaotic. Um, Wednesdays, Wednesdays, I'm right here. I'll be DMing uh, Gobtober throughout the month. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I basically just play whatever I want with whoever decides to show up. Some party games, usually some Jackbox Party Pack, Guilty Gear Strive, Among Us, stuff like that. Among Saturday us. before Ravenloft, I'm playing Yakuza 5 Remastered. And Sundays, I'm going to be starting the last default campaign of Wildermyth, a fantastic little game. And speaking of fantastic games, one that should be coming out sometime next year is Dead House Sonata. Now, you've heard me talk, about, talk. You've heard me talk about it a lot. Uh, it, they're pump, pumping out content for it, uh, lore-wise. Uh, Dead House Sonata is the spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series. Uh, if that at all interests you, be sure to check out the link that just got posted in the chat. To purchase yourself a Founders Pack and. For the month of October, if you enter in the code TREAT at checkout, you can save 10% off your Dead House and Out of Founders packs. Uh, and also check out my DMs Guild, where I release 5th edition content. And speaking of vampires, the Pact of the Fanged King Warlock Patron uh, will be coming out sometime this month. Be on the lookout for that. And with that out of the way, uh, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for this evening's Escapades, Die Hard Dice. I said it right this time. Die Hard Dice. Have... Thank you. That's the best I got. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's totally <laughs> fine. At least, at least Shake it, darn it. Okay. At least you didn't... Oh, yeah. Yes. There it is. Right. My ears are bleeding. Excellent. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, if you are in the market for dice and dice accessories, be sure to check out Die Hard Dice. Uh, they recently put out these fantastic um, blacklight dice that I am really, really wanting. Like, I I'm, I'm, I debated like, after Ravenloft last week, just, just picking up a set, not, not even, not even using our various connections, just buying it, because I want it so badly. These blacklight dice are badass, and you can purchase a magnetic little UV light that can attach to your Die Hard Dice dice tray, and if that's not the coolest shit you've ever heard, I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you are at all interested in picking up some dice or dice accessories, go to dieharddice.com. Use the code UNEXPECTABLE exclamation point to save 10% off your order at dieharddice.com. And with that, got some bits and subs for our wonderful community here. Oh, one more thing I'd actually like to shout out. Uh, the good people over at Astral Tabletop, uh, Astral VTT, uh, at Astral VTT on Twitter, um, were kind enough to give us uh, some platinum accounts for us to run this game the best we possibly could. Can't thank them enough. They've been wonderful to us so far. Uh, it's been an absolute blast using this program. Uh, sort of a little bit of an experiment uh, running through this fantastic module with all these fantastic people on this fantastic program. I'm hoping to show off a couple more of its wonderful features as we go along here tonight. Uh, but before we get it started, I'll be uh, right like, back one sec. Sure thing. I'm going to read off some business subs. Do Ex Machinus, thank you for the 12 months of Prime Subage. Miss Tweedums, thank you for the 19 months. Ha ye! Gaijing Umba, thank you for the 19 months. Yeah. Captain Actually, thank you for the 19 months as well. Dreadlord Bedrock, thank you for the 19 months. Yeah, let's go, Gobtober time! Constable Mutton, thank you for the 19 months. Problems. Fantastic Callum, <laughs> thank you for the 18 months. Woo, 18 months. Also, if the donkey dies, I swear nothing will happen, but I will swear very loud, just so you know. Don't freak anybody off. Drago soon, take over the five bits. Let's go, Gobby. Blue Kios 445, thank you for the 19 months. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the leap bits. My little Kelpie, my little Kelpie. Gonna drown you in water now. Oh, no. No. 
My little Kelpie, my little Kelpie, better make your saves. Oh. We Pinkie won't. Pie is best pony. Uh, How would you something so controversial and yet so brave? Crazy Man's 2, thank you for the 15 brave. months of Prime. <laughs> Gob time. Nom Nom Goblin, <clears throat> thank you for the two months, or the 17 months of Tier 2, so hear me out. More goblins, just all goblins. Everyone is goblins. I'm feeling Indeed. it. I, I like that idea. Kelpies, goblins. Caraptus, goblin. <laughs> Seahorses, goblin. Oh. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Sphinx, uh, goblin. Sphinx, are we the Oprah Winfrey goblin. of goblins? We are the Oprah Everyone Winfrey gets of goblin. goblins. Riotous Frog, thank you for the 1,000 bits for the Fury Croak tribe. Yeah! Ribbit, the Roaming ribbit. D&D, thank you for the raid with a party of nine. Okazar, thank you for the 14 months. Poyo, bringing it back. Poyo. Poyo. Wed Wedward, thank you for the 40, or thank you for the 11 months. Batman Clan, what a remark to walk in on. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> here I stand with my Fat Man Clan. Fat Man Clan, here I stand. No! Bass Dog 25, thank you for the 39 bits. Rabbit in a kobold suit, thank you for the 19 months. Let's fight some seaweed. Pixel Bell, <clears> thank you for the 20 bits. Yeah. Happy October. Celebrated my 21st birthday this past Sunday. Finally got my hands on some more DD books, so maybe I can start DMing for my group. Also, totally got uh, a little birthday. bit tipsy and passed out like a rock, but I'm fine. Drink responsibly, everybody. I'm glad you <laughs> did just that, Pixel Bell, and happy birthday once again. Happy birthday, Miss. Replica Rabbit, thank you for the three or seven months of Prime Savage Green Goblin rules. I found you and my pants, thank you for these seven bits. Last one's a bit, <laughs> but now, now I have pockets again. Nothing can stop me. <laughs> oh see. my god! Think there's, of all the things you can sew. We have all of these people that are like things dressed as things and things that are bees we and like, we attract a I weird bunch here but you know what my, i like you like wonderful one my, my favorite account name will always be pop tart depression i don't know why <laughs> but it tickles me there's one with a hot pocket too that i don't remember right now that got me going i love discovering a new amusing <laughs> name indeed yeah. magic ninjago 10 years of spin jitsu thank you for the 10 months i made it in time ebon sky thank you for the 19 months woo Fantastic Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. What do you call a donkey that's snarky and also a hitman? An assassin. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> no, no, don't apologize. You gotta own it. Embracey. I'd approve it if you didn't apologize. And then they say not sorry. Oh, well then, I approve. <laughs> then how Argent dare you? <laughs> Argent Lyal, thank you for the 19 months. Ready for some gobbo action. Zen Lita, thank you for the 200 bits. Was the dino... Wait, was the dino that discovered the plesiosaur called the Thankiosaur? Oh my okay. god. Okay. I haven't heard that one. That's good. The atom bomb. Thank you for the eight, 100 Eight out of beds. ten. That's good. The great clam vino and his wonderful clam chowder. <laughs> oh my god. Bring in Dalaran. some of that new way Come and slurp some clams. Dalaran Quest. Thank you for the... 15 months. Hey, all. Uh, not going to be able to sub for a while. Work and time are getting stretched thin behind the sh on the shows, but halfway through Unexpectables episode 182. And my gods, is it good? Anyway, see you all in the VOD slash YouTube slash continue having fun. Big Bad <laughs> Shadow Man. Thank you for the 19 months. Last week, I killed my first werewolf as my bugbear bugaboo. And take her power, fellow goblins. Kill that Drider Man. If there is a Drider Man. Drider man, drider man. Oh, they'll find out. I'm no. about to summon it. No, no, oh. no, no. <laughs> Volk551, thank you for the bit. How do you solve a puzzle in Resident Evil is to play Moonlight Sonata. That would make it the OG Deadhouse Sonata. Um. <laughs> Drago soon, thank you for the 20 bits. I have both dice and the blacklight light. Ooh, I'm jealous. Oz195, thank you for the 19 months. Parsnips Dandy, thank you for the 16 months of Prime. Let's go, boys. Solar Fire, thank you for the two bits. Ah, poor donkey. It's a killer. Be killed to survive. Watch the Goblin. donkey be the one thing that doesn't take damage. The donkey knows ninjutsu. It's fine. Goblin in the a donkey kobold will be suit. the one thing that survives. That's why it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. Goblin in a kobold suit, thank you for the 100 bits. Goblin superiority. 
Solar Fire, thank you for the two bits. Woo, got to taste beer than donkey, whether it's giant or not. It, it sounds like you got to taste beer, all right. Robo Mom, thank you for the 10 bits. Made it in time. Woo! Need you guys this month. A family member just passed from COVID. I'm very sorry to hear that. Mm. Aww. Sorry for your loss. I'm sorry. Hopefully we can provide you with an evening entertainment to get your mind off of that. Tastes... Uh. Uh? Uh? Taste, taste some NyQuil. Thank you for the uh, three months of Prime uh, subs. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Like nice well. That's yeah. a tough one. Love these yeah. streams. Can't wait to see the combat. Expecting some surprises from our fighter and monk gobs. Don't worry. <laughs> combat gets interesting with, with Astral Fable Top. Taste some... Oh, wait, no. Dark Star Dara, thank you for the seven months. Let's go. Magic Ninjago, thank you for the 100 bits. Excited for the session, especially since I'll be starting to play with a friend group on Sunday, most of whom are new to D&D and going to be playing an arcane trickster rogue slash monk. I'm very tempted to go uh, for Shadow for the monk half, but that just sounds a bit OP for a ninja. Free haircut and lobotomy. Think of the 100 bits. Someone get me pictures of Dryda Man. <laughs> Dryda Man. I want him on my desk one. tomorrow. Can, can I be paid in advance? No. You and me, Dryda Man. We can no, rule. No, you're the fired. Undercard. Wait, I need those pictures. You're hired Wait, again. Serious? <laughs> I just want to think of the laughing scene. Yeah. Volk551, thank you for the bit. Also, it was Thought Pockets. Uh, Thought Pocket, yes! <laughs> yes. Thought Pockets. And yes. finally, Ren237, thank you for the 16 months. Woot. 16 months. And with that, are you ready to dive My back chat. into the mountain? Okay. Oh, okay. Fucking Ren. No no. I don't think we really left it. Oh, We're not Wasco's here. Yeah, but no spoilers. Hi, Bosco. Thanks for listening to me be a child with a tantrum yesterday. <laughs> hey, Bosco, I'm still I'm not a voice it. actor. And you can't um, say shit because you're not here. Uh, I can say shit because I'm here. Shh, Mark's supposed to be on my side. Not when you say that shit. You're done goofed. Oh. All right, you <laughs> wackos. Whoa. Hey, yep. first of all, rude. Called for, but rude. Here. Is the actual yeah. not here? here? Not wrong, but rude. <laughs> Are you, Connor? Last time on Gobtober, White Plume Mountain, our gang of gobos made a deal with three mysterious people to retrieve weapons stolen by the evil wizard Caraptus. They found his lair in the infamous White Plume Mountain, a place where no one goes save for the brave or stupid. After, us. <laughs> after trekking with their faithful donkey to the mouth of the cave, they managed to find that the interior of the mountain is far more lived in than they previously thought, with carved out floors and staircases, mechanical nuances and devices. It was inhabited by a sphinx who made them solve a riddle, which... Ritzel Vixelplex solved quite easily. Now, after draining most of the water from the floor, and after some strange urges to go towards a room full of water, two green horse like beings emerge. What will happen now? Find out on tonight's exciting episode. Gobtober, White Plume Mountain. So, real quick, I just want to say, if you're playing music, it's very quiet. Yeah, it is. I, 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 oh, I, I could bit. hear. I, I could hear it, but does it sound I'm good sure. for chat? I'll. I hopefully it sounded good for chat. I'll be sure to turn it up if it didn't. It may just be that I have to do what I did last time, which was turn my overall volume up and just turn up volume on Chrome because it sounded great on stream you guys excellent super, okay good super then that's what matters all so right let me just let me just so, adjust real quick hang on okay well while you were adjusting you see as right as griggle crosses this strange 
chasm here, two green horse-like beings emerge from the pool. And I'm going to need everybody to roll initiative. Oh, All right, then here we go. Oh, yeah, party time. Ritzel's got an 18. Oh, negative. Oh, that's bad. Four. Wait, where am I? Uh, 14. I got a that's 21. A, that's a five. Tonk, I don't think you were ready for this battle. I was not. <laughs> Tonk is it's inspecting not. the moss on the wall. You must always be ready for party time. All right, it looks like everybody is... Is it touch loud? I will turn it down. Oh, thanks. This sounds good on my end. It sounded pretty good here, yeah, too. But... Fortunately, I can edit the way it sounds. Neat. Hey, so it just starts playing in reverse. I've already I've already pre-rolled <laughs> both of the Kelpies' initiatives. Oh, so that's cheating. <laughs> let me bring up the combat tracker so you can all see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's go ahead and yeah, get it started. Yeah. Shabazz. Combat has oh, started. Baby. It's like Final Ooh. Fantasy X. You know in what order things are happening. Estic. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It is now um, your turn. Where, where's Jezebel? How, how, do you want it? the donkey to have initiative? I mean, I, I, if it if it reacts to anything, I mean. Connor is like... Do you, <sighs> do, you, do you want Jezebel to be in combat? I don't want her to be in combat, but she's in the room. That's the okay. only thing I want her. She'll just be a bystander. Okay, good. <laughs> good like, girl. Initiative. And She's Jezebel in is also <laughs> here. Connor, Connor, there's still a giant toad on the initiative roll. <laughs> so there is. Oh my god. And now there, there is. There we go. Ripping. Um. Okay, so how deep is the water? The there? water here I is about... Um, it's a 15 feet deep pool. Oof. Well, and how big is the Kelpie? Uh, it is a medium-sized creature. Uh, well, that's no fun. They are really far away. I can't hit them from here. Do you have any javelins, or...? I might? Did I bring any javelins? That's why you always have ranged weapons. No, I did not bring... Wait, I thought I did. Hold on. I forget, what's the button I click to, uh, or like what uh, thing do I click to do the measury sticky thingy? Uh, shift. Uh, shift. Hold shift. Okay. I, have, I have a crossbow, actually. So there you go. I will actually equip my crossbow here. Okay. Uh, and uh, I will take a shot at our friendly Kelpie over here. The green one? Friendly, right? Super friendly. The green one, yes. The okay. green Kelpie of the green. Kelpie. All right, roll an attack. And boom. That is an eight to hit. That it will not hit, unfortunately. But as Thankfully, I have a second attack. <laughs> you certainly do. That will also hit. <laughs> no. Mine will not hit. No. So the, the Kelpie uh, sort of deftly evades your, your crossbow bolts in the water. It seems to be very confident in its swimming abilities. Um, That's... Super cool. Then <laughs> it's nothing. No, I can't do anything else because everything that I could do requires me to. Hit. Oh wait, no. I'm gonna save that. Yeah, that'll be my turn. Okay. And now let me. Once again, battle starts, and we open up with a couple of patented mark rolls. All right, that'll bring us to the. Oh, oh. That'll bring us to the Kelpie's turn. Kepley, do I have to end my turn on my side, or do you, can you do it? Kelpie, uh, trying to figure that out now. Uh, let's let's not worry about it for the time being. I, I'll just end my turn. Oh yeah, that'll work. Oh, is that a th is that a thing you can click? So at the top of your window, when when you 
way. When it is your turn, there is an option. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, okay. I just wasn't sure if the DM could do it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I can do it on on creatures I can control. Oh, uh, and it okay. even highlight it, it. It even highlights the one that's going. That's neat. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Isn't that All right. Cool? So it is it is Green Kelpie's turn, and Green Kelpie has a pretty good swim speed. Can he forget how to swim? Is that possible? Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, <laughs> are they like sharks? If they stop swimming, they die? No. They're amphibious. Okay. Uh, so, the... They're kind of amphibious. They stay out of water too long, Excellent. they die. Uh, actually, um, it's closer to you guys, so it's going to go ahead and just sort of... Swim over here. Um, actually, you know what? All of you succeeded, so it is actually going to find purchase on the ground. And Anura. Oh no! Wait, it's going to make oh, a yeah. can go Poor on Jez land. Poor Jezebel. Uh, it sort of like leaps up from the water onto the land. <sighs> Sort of, sort of like a a garbled whinny, and it's going to make a slam attack at you. Two slam attacks at you and her actually. Oh no! Would have been great if I had my glaive. That's not gonna hit. Of this crossbow. Oh, okay. All right. That was a that was a seven. That might though. Uh, Fourteen to hit. I have 13 armor class. That hits. Okay, Hold that the hits. phone. You don't... No, no, no. You don't get to hit that easy. I'm going to use one of my runic shields. What? Oh, to snap. force the attacker to re-roll and use the new roll. Oh. oh, shit. You put that in the chat? I'm trying to figure out how to do that. <laughs> Give it a click. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a clickable thing. Oh. Hold on a second. So let me just copy paste here. Activated my trap card. Copy paste that into the chat there for you. All right, you're using your cloud rune. Hmm. Uh, creature you can see is hit by an attack roll. No, nope, that's okay. the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Wait, <laughs> sorry, it's runic shield, not cloud rune. I copy pasted the wrong thing, even after ba -ba 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 -ba. saying it. This was. This is why it would be nice if it was clickable, but it is not. Sorry, there right. we go. Runic shield. When another creature you can see within 60 feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use a reaction to force the attacker to re-roll the d20 and use the new roll. Okay. Gonna re-roll it again. Uh. Use the new roll. Yes. Okay, so a 17 still hits you. Um, and I tried. No, no, Aww. I appreciate it. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. Everything's fine. All right, Nuri, you're going to take... Mm, uh, oh, 12 bludgeoning damage. Oh. Ow, okay. That's not cool. And as and as you are struck with this hoof, uh, the kelp sort of begins to unwind and wrap around your arms and, and your torso, and you are considered grappled. Oh, Hmm. Okay. All right. It is now Ritzel Vixelflix's turn. Ritzel's going to like kind of stroll around, looking at this uh, this going on. Walk around the other side of Jezebel to stay out of the uh, way of Estic, who is no doubt going to rush up and do his thing. Huh? It's all right, good go. Uh. I'm going to use my bonus action to get a, get a read on this Kelpie with uh, insightful fighting. Okay. And it so needs to make I will a make deception an, check? Uh, insight versus deception. So, yes, I will be using my insights rolling against its deception. Okay. Go ahead my and roll it. My insight check is a modified Ooh. 20. Whoa. Jeez. Uh, yeah, if I definitely... <laughs> You beat it handily. <laughs> okay, with that success, whether or not I have advantage on the attack, I get to use my sneak attack damage for a whole minute or until I decide to use this on a different target. 
So with that, I, I feel like I got a good read on this thing. Uh, I tap my cane to the ground and draw out the punch dagger that's hidden inside the top compartment of my cane. Yo. And right. I stab at it with my silvered punch dagger. Whoa pow! Oh, that is a 24 oh. to hit. That will okay. definitely hit. So that is 5 plus 11 sneak attack. So that is 16 points of damage. All right. Wow. 16 points of damage. And I end my turn. <laughs> the, Kel the Kelpie uh, looks looks pretty hurt by that, but it 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 snarls angrily at Don and Anura, who is within its Kelpie grasp. You should let her go, friend. Ah! Anura's not happy. I believe that would make it uh, Griggle's turn. Did the Kelpie that's in front of us do anything? Uh, no. Not it's yet. It's not its turn yet. Not yet. Oh, oh. My bad, my bad. Uh, hmm. Okay. Yeah, they roll different uh, initiatives. Sorry about that. Griggle's gonna let out a sneer. All right, then. Come and get it, then. Uh, in an almost psychotic way. Uh, reaches out his hand and... And if in a sickly ethereal energy wraps around it and then leaps out, uh, it's a it's it's this really sort of mutated zombified hand that has an eye in the dead center of it as the hand lashes out to grasp at this kelpie. Let okay. Me, let's uh, roll. Twenty four to hit. Twenty four does hit. Ooh. Cool. Uh, it takes eight necrotic damage, and let's see here. It cannot regain hit points until the start of my next turn, uh, and until the hand clings to the target. And that is the that is blue kelpie. That is blue kelpie, the one that is closest to us. Gotcha. Okay. I'm essentially trying to taunt it. Um, bad. This sort I of, will. Yeah. Go ahead. The, the a bony zombified hand reaches around this thing's throat, if it even can, and it and the. Kelpie thrashes in the water. It looks pretty perturbed by that. <laughs> Come on, beastie! Um, I am going to... You know what? I'm gonna move over here. Hope this thing is... Eh, let's, let's go... Hang on. I, I can't see a grid, so I need to measure a little bit. Yeah. Uh, That'll work. Uh, and then with my bonus action... Let's see here... Nope, 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 nope. Okay, there it is. Ah, okay. Um, I place, I, I place one of my, place one of my gangly uh, arms, uh, on my breastplate as I throw my cloak back, and around it grows this net, this this gnarly, ethereal bone around my chest as I cast Shield of Faith. Mm. Okay. And that is turn. Okay, you, you cast a protective field around you with sort of this strange, bony, necrotic energy. Uh, that that would bring us to five. the other Kelpie's turn. Uh, Griggle, you gotta click end turn. It should oh. be at the top of the screen there. Is Oh, 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 sorry. I was looking at the um the initiative counter. My bad. Yeah, yeah no worries. I'm really right. excited for Wallfly's turn. I know, me too. <laughs> it is now the Kelpie's turn. Oh, is Wallfly on there? Yeah. Wolf, yeah, Wolf Wolf in there. there. I can't. Uh, you shouldn't Wolf have said Get out yeah. of here. Wallfly uh, rolled, Wolf rolled better than the monk and the druid. Yeah. Wallfly, what's your bonus action? Oh my god. What class is Wallfly? All right. Yeah. Uh, seeing, seeing as how the uh, situation is a little bit strange, the Kelpie is going to swim up here slightly. And Griggle, mm -hmm. I'm going to need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, boy. I should be good at these. No, nope, oh, no, that is precisely what you don't say. Yeah, you, 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 don't, you, don't, you don't. You don't say. You don't say that kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Well, you, uh, qu Griggle, question, you... real quick, because I, I wasn't sure if this was this was uh, stayed or not. 
Uh, I did succeed the last check uh, last game, if that matters. If not, that's totally fine. I just want to throw it out there. Did you? I don't yes, believe yes, I, I, did. I don't believe I did this on you. You did. He, you did it on uh, him and me at the same time, and we yeah. both passed it. Yeah. It was it was a Nura that failed hers, I think. Yeah. Yes. I will take your word for it. Uh, never mind then. In that case, it is going to swim to shore and try to attack you, Griggle. Oh, I didn't see it because my little... Is there a way I can remove the, the rotatory icon because it's covering up the uh, token? Uh, as far as I, I can, you can tell, just, you can just always on. I think you Does might be able to just click turn? off off the your token or something. Uh, no, it's, it, it, it never really goes away. Yeah. Okay, it's it's fine. I just I didn't I couldn't see it. If Go you zoom it. out, you should be able to. Well, it is right next to you. Uh, oh, okay. It is, <laughs> it is going to make two slam attacks. All right. Oh, good lord! It's a grumpy looking horse. I think he looks kick. That is not going to hit. Mm -hmm. Hey. That it's might like though. Nineteen. Oh, nope. No. My AC is twenty. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, uh -huh. wow. the, the it sort of raises up on its back hooves and and sort of punches out with its two front hooves and it just bounces off of this necrotic barrier that you've erected. Boom, boom. <laughs> uh, and that sounds will like end its turn. Fun. Sounds like someone's having fun over there. I want to have fun too. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, do I want to fucking go? Yeah. Uh, let's. Hmm. Oh, it is now. It is now your turn, Anira. By the way. Yeah, just, yeah. Just uh, saying that for the audience. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wild shape into a giant toad. Sweet. You're gonna wild shape into a giant toad. Yeah. All right. Let me, let me get. Is Anira, that, is that don't. Gonna shove it? Is that going to shove Estic in any direction? Um, I think I would expand out, like, uh, if I do the, the arrow, like, one second. I'd expand out, like, like that way, sort of. Uh, your arrows are local, so we can't see them. Oh, uh... Also, your token just disappeared. I think that's... Yep. Yeah, I think Connor's, Connor's putting... You. Yeah. As Anura's... ...form shifts... It is a large beast. Grumpy. Oh. Toad. How's that grapple Whoa. holding up as uh, yeah. as really expands? Does that break for the grapple? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Now it, it was trying to. It was trying to hold on to a small sized creature, and now that it is much larger, it it its contraction on you has ceased. All right, I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> no. How? Fourteen. Fourteen. You're tiny, you're tiny froggy peep. Does that show up for other people? Does not. Uh, actually. It shows up for oh. me. Uh -oh. You might I have make... whispers turned on. Are you are you clicking on frog stats in another uh, oh. page? It's on D and D Beyond. It's the giant toad stat on D and D. That's why. Yeah, I had that happen when I was when I was skeleton attacking. The, sh okay. the roll only showed up for Connor. You can you can go uh, ahead and well, click your frog. It has the same stats on it. Does it? How do I? Open do your I character sheet. Open your character sheet, or you can you can click manage character on your toad. Can can I? Yeah, I have the toad assigned to you. Oh shit! Oh. Wait. Where where would that That's be? Fancy. So, click your click your token like you like you would any other. Yeah. Uh, and then I believe it's it's space. Space. Space bar. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Space bar. They bring up a little window. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry to do this right now. Mm, oh, you're fine. fine. Uh, where would it be? Uh, it'd be under your actions. Bite and swallow. Actions. I see attacks. Are they listed in the attacks window? 
Because spacebar no. opens up like a standard uh, character sheet. Yeah. Well, I'm not seeing what you're seeing, so I'll just um, we'll just go ahead and let the one in the chat roll. So it was a 14 to hit. That just barely succeeds. Okay, that is going to be 10 piercing damage and 5 poison damage. Okay. And it needs to make a DC 13... Uh, second? DC 13... It doesn't say dexterity or strength, so I think it's its choice of like acrobatics or athletics to escape the grapple that the bite puts on. Okay. Athletics check, you said? Athletics or acrobatics, I guess. It's, athletics it or specify. acrobatics. Okay. It's basically just a grapple check, so. Yeah, yeah. But it's the same either way. I don't think that'll succeed. Uh, so that, seven. that Kelpie, that Kelpie is now restrained in my mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the, the, now the you Kelpie, are the one being held. The, the salty sort of seaweedy taste in your mouth uh, is not terribly pleasant, but the Kelpie is now is now kicking and whinnying for its life. An insane umami bomb. <laughs> Indeed. Which, if you have like a, a, a chef gimmick as a wrestler, great finishing name. Umami bomb. That the is umami pretty bomb. Good. That's pretty good. Excellent. Can, I, I have one question to end my turn. Um, yeah. If I swallow this thing and turn back into a goblin, what happens? <laughs> Asking the real questions. <laughs> you you would know generally as as a druid who's been doing this for a while. That's probably not a great idea. Okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I want I I now want someone to 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 draw to <laughs> freaking draw Anora like like Squidward in the submarine. <laughs> <laughs> You like Kelpies, don't you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, that's that's my turn. How do I how do I end my turn? Uh, uh, top of the screen. Top of the screen. Ah. Yeah. End turn. That's that's my fancy. Turn. It is. I really fancy. Like it, it is fancy. Uh, that'll bring us to Tonk. Tonk the monk, oh. you're up. Tonk was staring at the Kelpie like, shit. How do I fight this? And then it hopped up onto the land, and suddenly it was really simple. So Tonk just hauls back and unarmed strikes it. Okay. Twelve to hit. Uh, Twelve, unfortunately, will not hit, as your fists sort of bounce off the hardened uh, help around it. But I can do it again, so I'm That's gonna. Harder. Certainly there can. There you go. Sixteen. Sixteen will hit, however. So eight bludgeoning. Eight bludgeoning damage. It sort of whinnies in protest as your fist collides with its with its uh, with its side. And how how is it looking right now? It's got some fight in it. So knowing that we're not gonna be able to leave until these things are gone, I'm gonna spend a key point. Okay. At what? Oh my gosh. Why? 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 I think I have to click for this. Learning. Oh. Uh, oh. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot of key. That's points. a lot of information. You don't need Which, all of that. Okay. Which so one are um, you using? But what yes. you do need is. Are you gonna blow some flurries? Yeah, I am, buddy. Hell yeah. <gasps> yeah. 14, 14 will hit. hit. 14 will hit. So, nine bludgeoning damage. All right. And I believe I hit it again, correct? One yep. more for Jenny and the Wimp. Yeah. One more for Jenny and the Wimp, yep. 22. Ooh, nice. Yeah. For 10 bludgeoning damage. 10 bludgeoning damage. Wow. So, Tong just hauls back and is like, doom, doom, doom. Yeah, the, the the thing sort of buckles under the weight of your fists, each blow sort of forcibly moving it to the side before it reshapes. Playing a monk is so fun. Just it looks up and Griggles and is like, eee. Mm. Oh, looks down, I'm betting. Oh, true. Maybe, maybe Look to the side. Down and to the side. Oh, the old Tonk side glance. Seven, Tonk is like seven feet tall. Yeah. I don't think Griggle got that tall. No, 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 just around the horse. 
Uh, Griggle oh. spends some gold on some platform shoes. <laughs> He's Fine. just walking around on stilts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tonk, is that going to be your turn? Yes. That is my All turn. Right. Click the end turn. Go ahead and end your turn thing at the top of your screen. I guess. And that'll bring us to round two. Estic. Okay. Stop squirming. I'm going to switch to my glaive. Okay. And I will take a swong at the Kelpie in okay. the mouth of Anora. It is restrained. It is restrained, so this will have advantage. Oh, I should have clicked that beforehand. That's all right. Just roll it again. It's okay. Well, 27. 27 definitely has. Uh, I'm not sure which do damage anything you else? Take. I think it's just advantage. Just advantage. Yes. So which 14 slashing damage. Yeah, we go. That. And, uh... Okay. Definitely hurts. How's he looking? Bit up. rough. Bit rough. He's sort of starting to lose his form a bit in, in uh, Frog and Nura's mouth. Cool. So as the glaive slashes across, just narrowly slicing between Nura's giant frog lips, he twists his grip and swings it back in the other direction. Have advantage enabled this time. Twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five will oh, absolutely oh, oh. hit. Another fourteen, 14 slashing more damage. damage. Ooh, oh this God. thing's Dang. on on the edge. It's not looking good. Then I will uh, utilize my pole arm master bonus attack to flip the pole arm in my hand and butt it with a uh, uh, a D four damage attack. Bonk which, okay. To hit here, ignore the damage. Roll it's a for bonk. Fifteen hits. <laughs> Fifteen does hit. All right, then here's my D4 damage. Four more damage with a bonk. Yeah. Yeah. Is bonk. the is the nine with it as well? No, no. No. Uh, okay. Because I needed to roll the glaive to attack, but it does gotcha. D4 damage. So just the All four right. damage. Give the old okay. pommel bonk. Yeah, you, you you bonk it on the side, and its form is just barely keeping itself together. You can now sort of begin to see the water that was sort of inside of the, the kelp just beginning to leak out. Ah, that said, stubborn plant! It is now its turn. Um... And it is going to... Uh, does it need an action to escape your grasp? Um, let me look. So... Da -da 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 -da. The target is grappled, so... It, it's got to do what it... So I think it's contested, like... It's like my strength versus its strength, or... Okay. Uh, it's going to try and escape your grasp. Okay, let me let me see if this works. I put a giant toad on my sheet. Okay, fourteen. So uh, not the greatest. Uh, not. It does just barely manage to shift its form and wiggle out of your grasp with a nineteen. Uh, Rip it. And it doesn't like Estic very much, so it's going to take two slam attacks against him. Oh, does it have reach? Is, is, is Estic in range? I was going to ask. Does it have reach? Oh, let me go ahead and shit. I do. That's whoa, whoa, shit. whoa! Wait till we're on break. <laughs> um, He's the DM. He can no. shit what he wants. That, yeah, actually, fair actually, now that I'm looking at the screen, uh, it's gonna go for Ritzel. <gasps> oh, that's just blatant rude. It is rude. Two slam attacks against you, Ritzel. I'm assuming a nine doesn't hit. A nine will, in fact, not hit. Uh, will a seventeen hit? It will. Okay. Actually, I disagree. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna runic shield again. All right, you're gonna use your second runic shield. It's a big dungeon. Just be careful with your resources. Twelve? I'm... Yeah. Uh, twelve will not hit. Okay. Ooh. Uh, with I have the, to influ the species. with the influence Excuse of Estix, uh, runic shield. Ah! You see Ritzel just flinch for a moment. <laughs> this sort of this sort of burning emblem in the air bounces the Kelpie's hoof uh, off of your body, leaving you unharmed. 
One, his, his, he opens one eye first, looks down, realizes not hit. All right, then. <laughs> That'll bring us to your turn, right, Sol? Uh, at which point he will just, like, realize that he's not been hit. All right, stabby. Shrink! Natural no! 20! Oh, no! Oh, it's dead. So that, that is 20. That is uh, oh 10 my. plus 32 points of damage. So oh 42 oh, points of damage shit. as I take my silver, as I take my punch dagger, just punch it square in the throat and rip it all the way through. Yeah, this oh thing is God. mega dead. Crit rogues are fun. I, yeah, I, I, I stab it in the throat, rip it through, turn around, Resheath it into the uh, resheath it into the cane, clack it on the ground, and it falls down like a Sentai villain. Yeah. Hell yeah! Uh, and you see water sort of gush from its quote unquote throat as the kelp just slacks, goes slack, and slowly just slides back into the pool, lifeless. All right, then. just as planned. Tink tink. Uh, with that. I guess I will use my bonus action. Uh, I believe as a rogue with a cunning action, I can retrieve items as a cunning action. Yeah. Um. Sure. We'll, I can we'll, take. We'll, we'll say. I know. We'll say you can. All right. Uh, I retrieve a short bow from Jezebel's pouch, and with my movement, I will move up here and just keep an eye on that other Kelpie. Okay. That will and bring us. I end my turn. That'll bring us to Griggle. You're up. Cacking, cackling maniacally, I will take a five foot step north to flank okay. this thing. Okay. Connor, okay, what are your two. rules? Okay, I was about to ask what your what your um, mm -hmm. rules are then. Uh, still giggling in gleeful contempt, uh, Griggle's hand bathes in a dark, dark, inky black, and he reaches for this creature's throat. As, come on now. As I cast Inflict Wounds at second level. Okay. 22. Oh, 22 damn. Will hit. Oh, my lord. Oh. 21 necrotic damage. Yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 you just, yes. <laughs> as, as he just grabs this thing's throat and just crushes it slowly, this necrotic energy just dumping from his hand into this creature's throat and over through its body. The seaweed almost begins to wilt in your grasp as... This this thing doesn't quite look fearful, but it or it, it looks sickly now, like uh, <laughs> like dried up like dried up seaweed. It is still kicking though, <laughs> and, it sh and it shudders in your grasp. <laughs> Not for long, beastie. <laughs> All right, um. I believe I am good. I don't have anything else I can do. That's the weird. That's the thing I'm learning about clerics. Not a lot to do on your bonus action. Um. Actually, Connor, real quick, do you know if a whip is technically a light weapon or is it a standard weight weapon? Um, I believe a whip is a light weapon. Whip it good. Uh, it is not a light weapon. It's a finesse weapon. Ah, okay, so I can't, uh, I can't offhand with that then. Okay. Correct. Uh, buh, buh, buh. Dang. All right, cool. Uh, I will end my turn. Okay. Uh, <laughs> frog time. Co Connor, what are your rules on mounted combat? Uh. Mounted combat? I mean. I don't want to. What if, what if I kind of lowered my body and kind of motioned for Estic to get on my back? He could climb you on his turn. Oh damn! Okay, okay. What if you grab him in your mouth and use him as a I... weapon? Oh my god! <laughs> mm. Mm. Just, mm. just wrap him in my tongue. Whew. We're oh. going. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> full, full froppy style. Yeehaw! Oh my god. No. I will. I hope. I'm just gonna see if this actually shows up. Okay, that does. So, okay, I've, I've got the giant frog on my sheet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna can leap you, over. Can you do that? Like, so you can move while carrying somebody who's a smaller size category than you, right? Yes. 
But I don't know if I can like pick you up or like, like, like. You're, I'm a smaller size category than you. Yeah, but you're not currently on them. I don't have hands. You have a. <laughs> well, you do, but. <laughs> I think just, I think I think you can I grapple think... me essentially the same way that you did the kelpie. But that might be an action, which I think the standing leap. Also is. Oh, is the standing leap? Oh, the standing leap's just a thing for oh, my just, movement. It's just a movement. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I, I basically want to jump over, but Are I want to. I want to. Oh, you I know want, what? I want to see if I can like grab Estic first. I don't. Can Can you make that? It's twenty feet. It's twenty five feet to the, the ledge. Oh, okay. You use I mean, part of your movement to get to the edge, so ledge yeah, to ledge you'd be yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah. I can yeah. totally get there with my movement. I'm just. If Connor would allow it, I would allow you to grab me when you jump if you wanted to. Is, can it, can how are you how would you grab Estic? What are you doing to grab Estic? Basically I would like before I would move over there, I would like lower my head and kinda like scoop him up, like onto my back and then jump over. Is that a thing I could do? Right. Sounds an awful lot like you're trying to have him like mount your head. Uh, if, if, no. if if it's too much I'll just jump over there and start attacking. It's it's not a it's not a huge thing. I mean, you you could scoop him up, but that would be your action. Hmm. You're probably better off attacking. I don't think this thing has much of a fight left in it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, just gonna you could you could yeah. you could get him over because I can still punch. Minya punches and kicks a weight. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna yeah, come just over go for it. and just bite. Okay. Shit. Bite. You have frog next to you. Now. Oh no! That oh, will not that. hit, unfortunately. Ah. Uh... Damn. That's that's the frog's turn. Well, for those listening at home, that was a six. Yeah. <laughs> womp womp. Uh, Tonkosi Tonky. and Nura become a giant frog, hop over, try and hit, miss, like, pat a Nura's arm, like, there, there. And, a big, uh, a big, like, air sac, like, like, <laughs> And uh, and then just punch the horsey. Jesus. One natural oh. twenty, twenty-eight, <laughs> ten yeah. bludgeoning, just, just five crit. Gently, gently pat the frog. As the, <laughs> there, exactly. there. As, like, punch there, a punch there. a hole in its head. As, as there, the top part up. is sort of Dude. wilted, uh, in <laughs> Griggle's grasp, you just punch down on the rest of the seaweed, and the head just comes completely off, sort of like almost mummified. Uh, seaweed horse head. I, I want to mention puts it on Griggle, like punches the head, and it just goes. <laughs> I want to ma- imagine. Want to imagine I'm grabbing the front thing, and you just slam the ass end so hard that the the front half is still just kind of standing there. <laughs> yeah. And with that, combat has come to an end. That's wow. that then. Everyone, get it. over there! I can't see past the frog. Oh, it Fancy- happened too quickly. Fancy little beasties they have here. I wander back over to Jezebel and put my uh, bow and arrow back in its saddlebags. Huh? Good girl. That's a brave girl sitting through all that fight like that. Just sort of leans down and, and grabs some of the kelp and just begins chewing on it. There you go. Feed up, feed up, girl. Yeah. I'm huh? pretty sure I know the answer, but uh, just to check, what do you think that thing is? That right now is donkey food. I mean, y- y- yeah. Um, Connor. Yeah. Uh, Arcana check to determine what the heck that might have been? Or nature? Nature. Or? Nature check. Yay. Eh, 14. Uh, you've heard around that there are are sometimes these plants that will try to sort of lull people to their deaths via drowning. Uh, And judging from from the descriptions, uh, they can either take the form of of a beautiful person or or a horse sometimes. Beautiful horses. Best keep our wits about here. If that's the first thing we run into, I don't want to know what the next is. A giant toad nods at you in approval. Can you? 
Can What's you get over the on that side over there? Uh, hang on. Shift. Sh sh shift. Oh, there we go. No, I wouldn't see it. I don't know how y'all gonna get over. Uncle can I? Can I swim? At Anura. Yeah. yeah. And then point to the other side. Yeah. Um, get, All right. Uh, yeah. The, get the, on the I, frog's back. The giant toad will ferry us across. Now, however, yeah. a goblin cannot cross with the donkey, or else the donkey will get eaten. So the donkey must remain with the toad at all. <laughs> oh, God. How do we solve this puzzle? Are, 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 are any of you scorpions? Oh, my God. Oh, I could be. Connor, the, nice the, the, the greatest challenger player faces themselves. Oh. All right, Rizzle. I, I, listen. All right. We got to make a decision here about old Jezebel here. My dad? If we leave her here, she's got plenty of food. He kind of points at the uh, Kelpie that she is happily munching on. But if we take her with us, she's probably going to be in danger. I understand the sim situation we're throwing out here, but should we leave her here and there's any of these things sleeping at the bottom of the ocean, the bottom of this here pit, she'd be in a bit more danger here, Savvy. Okay, then Can tell her I'm about to put her on the frog. <laughs> Can I ferry the, the girl? Donkey? She knows how to. This it, it won't be the first time she stepped on a frog. How much does the donkey weigh? Did we ever figure that out? Uh, I think 400, like 500 pounds. Yeah. Is that too uh, much for the frog? The donkey is a medium-sized creature. To be and fair, you're large. Mm hmm. What's your do? You, do we have the carrying capacity of the of the giant frog? I, as the giant frog, I have fifteen strength. So. Uh, and your strength is multiplied. Your your strength score multiplied by fifteen is how many pounds you can carry. So, so you can only carry three hundred pounds. Fifteen oh. times fifteen is three hundred fifty. Is that max load, or is that just until you're encumbered? You would you would be you would be moving way more slowly. I mean I'm just moving twenty feet across this water. Yeah, well, we're just trying to get them across. Indeed. Is that feasible that we could put the donkey on sure. I'm going to mode? Google Yay. how much a donkey weighs. Don't don't bother. <laughs> I'll just let for, this happen. For for the sake of brevity, do I get everybody across? Yes. Sure. Yay, thank you. It might also, take a couple trips. Tonk. But... Huh. A, a neurofrog, like, just tongue from your chest all the way up to your face like a dog. Just oh my ha God. happy lick. Tonk's fur just in a straight upward streak. Yep. Glares at you. You just see a <laughs> frog. You just, up see, eye. you just see a frog smiling at you. Very Can't happy. Move the donkey. Uh, man, has to move the donkey. donkeys have a wide range of mass between 180 and 1,000 pounds. That's a oh fat donkey. Uh, it's a Clydesdale. Uh, Connor, I would like Clydesdale of donkeys. <laughs> yeah. Just, just one last I'd thing. Like to... Go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say I wanted to peer around here, see what all this is about, and then just peer up or down these stairs, whichever it may be. Ah. Uh -huh. As you peer Connor, around the stairs. Just, just so you know, I can be this frog for four hours. Oh my right. god. Amazing. I think yeah. it was two. Uh, I'm Living your best life. I'm looking at I'll wild trust, shape. I'll trust you if it says four. You so... can stay in B shape for four hours before reverting back to your normal form. Awesome. Yeah. So you were a frog for four hours. Also, the uh, donkey has a maximum speed of 15 miles an hour. I could race a donkey. All right, you, guys, let's focus up. You round <laughs> yes. the corner, and you see a staircase going up. Uh, hmm. Goes up high enough Tonk? that you can't quite see what's uh, above it. Tonk's okay. going to stealth up it. <clears throat> is there anything of? Is there anything worth checking out over here? Because it looks like there's a... Uh, Another. Oh, what is it? Like a, like a dam or like a... Not an antechamber. What is that called? Ah, whatever. Roll a perception Other check. room. Cool. A, foyer, a foyer? Oh. A Rit Ritzel would be looking around, so. 12. 28. 12. Um, 
these seem to be uh sort of you see on the bottom of this pool sort of two partly enclosed areas one looks like it has a shut door and the other one looks like it does not uh is the water in this room still draining from uh the crank that we the worked? the the water uh, it's the water on the floor that you're standing on currently. Uh, oh, okay. But it doesn't look like the pool is affected by this. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. hmm. We just started a Ruth Goldberg machine. We didn't even know it. <laughs> a Ruth Goldberg. Ruth Back Goldberg, there. yes. Ruth. A Bill Goldberg right? machine. My tongue. My... Okay, well, anyway. Uh, I guess we'll start heading up the stairs then. Oh, yes. Yep. I need sneak, right? right? Yes, roll stealth. And oh, Ritzel is just keeping 14. his eyes. Ritzel is just keeping his eyes about while traveling up with that twenty-eight perception check. Okay, you feel like you're reasonably well hidden, at least to your knowledge. I'm not oh, sure you guys want me to stealth check. Oh God, I'm afraid of your stealth check. Tonk is very sneaky, so. I have disadvantage on stealth checks. Okay, don't do that. So, <laughs> I mean, the alternative is just that I don't go up stealthily, which, you know, which well, would it... be worse. <laughs> could be a thing that you could do. Uh, Nick, don't forget Jezebel. Uh, I can't control Jezebel. Oh, yeah. JK. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can. Click on. Donkey in the dark. No we panic. Token resig. Here you go. You can now control That's Jezebel. my girl. Wow. Right. Well, I'll make it easier on you. Look at that donkey. All, all right. right, I'll go ahead and try and roll a stealth since everyone seems to be sneaking. I'm gonna oh, are we all sneaking? It was I'll just try. me. I was the only oh. one that stealth. Well, we're going gonna... to... I was going to go scout. I see. Then I will stay with the donkey and the frog. Donk frog. Rabbit. Still's the perceptive type, but not the stealthiest of types. Tonk is very stealth. Or well, how far stealth. are you going? As stealth. Uh, as I, I can't go any yeah. further. Oh, you're unable. Won't let to me move. go anymore. There's a wall yeah. of darkness. We have yeah. found the edge of the world, friends. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. You're, it, it, you're physically not able to go there. No, we. Yeah, we yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Ritzel can. What the heck? Ritzel broke through the darkness. Why didn't oh. let me do anything? It was, it, you know what? It was my twenty-eight perception check that allowed me to peer through oh the darkness. Oh my gosh! You, you oh, accidentally, a door. you accidentally no clipped into the back room dimension. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, there we found are, the, we found the dev room. There are yeah. two doors, one big door, and a jail type door, I guess, because I can see through it. It's like this one's up here. It looks oh, yes. like this one. Hey, right here Connor, is I still, I still can't get up. Oh, it was open. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Drag the rest of you up here. Wait. I've been manhandled. Oh my god. Unless you don't want to come up. All right. I just. Well, well yeah, I, I was waiting with the another donkey and the frog. But it's a fun okay. thing you can do with uh, actual tabletop. You can create doors. Ooh. Oh, sweet. Them. Oh, and there's a little little icon. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. Create little funny little uh, doors. Look at your you click it and you go. Yeah, I hope you're doing that here. quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Ritzel's yeah. just boom, 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 just open it close. Oh, these are huge. I know these, are, these are huge iron doors, by the way. So okay, which is why, which is why I'm so excitedly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, I could, is... I could fit through those doors, right? Sure. Okay. Okay. Tonk is gonna go up to this big door and as quietly as possible open it okay doink to find yeah. another door <laughs> yes you quietly open the door and the you see another thick metal door with the edges of it flange so that it overlaps the door jam on the northern side of it the thick flange over there and you'll notice that they open inward. So it's a pull door? 
It's a push door. Ah, push door. And the one in front of me is also a push door? Uh, it appears to be much of the same type of door as well. Mm. I keep accidentally clicking on that door. <laughs> will. Peering into that room, that very small room, does it look like there's anything out of place, like a trap or something? Yeah. You mean you mean the door off to the side or the one that no, you're... No, the... Oh. The, the tiny the room in front by. of us. Does it look okay. like it's a trap floor? Does it look Roll. like there's holes in the walls for darts? Perception? Never trust antechambers. I, I have a no. 19 passive perception, if that helps. But I got a 14. That's 11 for my actual roll. Man, my passive Wait, is better. Did just, I? Does, does, oh, I got a 10. Seems, Dang it. It seems like it is just your... Just like a standard small room. You're not quite sure what the purpose of this could be. A little antechamber. I hey, sure we check this door out too. Don't want anything coming up behind us. Yeah, sure. And I'm gonna just walk up and open the door. I will phys I will physically stop you. Too late! No, yeah, I will physically is. stop you if you were trying to just blatantly open this door. You literally the... just said we should check the door, so Yes, we should, but R By Ritzel, all means, Ritzel stay. Was already, Ritzel was already over there opening and closing it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Tonk will canon. see that Estic just goes in and uh, come to watch just in case something happens. Okay. All right. Well, so if. if uh... Yeah, I'll go check it out. You guys wait yeah. here. Okay. You walk in and. Yeah. I'll turn it on. And I'm dead. Kringle just shakes. You, Kringle just shakes his head. You see, in this stone corridor, uh, the middle of it uh, changes ab abruptly to a spinning cylinder. Uh, it is apparently made of some light-colored metal. The inner surface rotates rapidly, and it is painted in a dizzying black and white spiral pattern. Okay, I've never been inside a kaleidoscope before, but I think we've found a kaleidoscope. Yeah, I'd say. I, you see just this just this disc of spinning metal just rotating rapidly uh, halfway through this hallway. Like a Halloween fun, like the exit to a Halloween funhouse. Precisely. Mm. Uh, Is it moving? It is moving. Like the whole floor is moving? Not the floor you're standing on, but the floor up ahead of you is. Okay. Mm. Ritzel's going to take a, like, just kind of a random bit of rubble or stone off the floor and toss it at the spinning hallway. Okay. You toss it out, go sliding off the floor, and uh, as it catches on the, um, as it catches on the spinning part, it just sort of rotates along with it until it hits the wall. In which case, mm. it, just, it just sort of Stays there. Looks like, looks like we're gonna need some nimble feet to cross this one here. Hang on, let me let me see something real quick. Hang on, I'm gonna walk up just to the edge of it. I'm assuming this is the edge of it. Uh, that yes, it is. R okay. Ritzel will join you. So clap, like the clacking of his cane. Mm. Connor, I get, I can't get past the stairs. Oh. Click further forward. There you go. There you Yay. go. Thank you. Yeah. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip. <laughs> Big meaty slapping footsteps. Oh. That's a really long hallway. Tong can uh, see very far. Ritzel, with your passive perception, as you walk up to this floor, you'll notice that it is slick with something. I, uh, I run my finger along it just to kind of, like, check the viscosity of it. Okay. You run your finger along it, and you sort of rub it between your fingers. Roll a, roll another perception. Roll, just roll a perception check to see what this might be. Perception check? That is, wow, these are low rolls. That's a 12. Oh my. You, you sort wow. of... This this wouldn't this wouldn't be too too terribly hard. As you sort of rub it between your your fingers, 
it's familiar. You lift it up to your nose and you give it a smell. Uh, this is lamp oil. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to warn anyone. Don't let them. Don't, don't go ahead and strike any tinders or any sorts of torches around this, because this here spinny doodle, this here is flammable. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, then, but doesn't that mean it's very likely a trap? Looks, it looks at the spinning death walls of flaming <laughs> oil. <laughs> Whatever would give you that idea. I say we strike a match on it, let it burn out. That's assuming that this oil ain't coming from some massive reserve somewhere that isn't going to blow up this whole place. So, uh, I, in that, well, knowing that, uh, Connor, if I can look along the walls to see if there's actual oil pouring in. Roll a perception check. 19. Um, it, no, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't appear to be uh, pouring in from anywhere. It just appears that this uh, is just a slickened floor. All I'm going to say is... If the oil's been here for who knows how many years, odds are it's either here by magical means or it's just very, very ever-present. Not sure it might burn out in the time that we have, is all I'm saying. Well, it'd, be right. a fool, it'd be a fool's errand to step on that, then. Only if you want to light a match. I so, think we could probably handle it if we go through it really fast of course I do believe the reason we came in here was to make sure nothing was going to sneak up on us from this side I can say with a safe bet that nothing's going to be traveling through there too gracefully yeah but what's on the other side of the hallway could be one of the items we're here to find same thing with the other hallway up north yeah but that had a door this so is that hallway. one that's got a door over there too uh, uh, yeah, I knew it did. I'm just saying. I, cla I, 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 I pat him on the side. I know you did, mate. So... Oh, we gotta pick a door, then. Spinning metal things, and... On the walls, you said? On the floor. On yeah, the floor. The, the, this whole floor here is just one spinning cylinder with, like, slick with oil. Mm -hmm. Flammable mm -hmm. oil, at that. Very slippery looking oil. Well, if we want to get across this, us that's more nimble like would probably have a better chance at getting through it without Con incident. Connor, quick question. Because I've got decent arcana, could I determine whether or not that's a grease spell? Roll arcana. Nope! Oh, oh my god! That's some, that's some greasy floor right there. That is. Very much so. Uh, very greasy. Much flammable. Yeah, you're you're just you're just focusing <laughs> you're just focusing on the on the slick floor, hey. trying to just figure it out if it's flammable if it's a grease spell or not, and you're just so focused on it. Better b better to roll that one now than either an attack or a saving throw. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of time later. Connor. Yeah. Can I like kind of like rear up and do hand gestures as as the frog, or is that too much? Sure. You've only got three fingers, so. Okay, so, Anura kind of rears up and like kind of like does like a jumping motion with one hand over the other hand, points to like their back, points to like the party, and then like does like a shrug. Like, is that something we should do? Frog shrugs. But it's like 60 feet across. That's a yeah, that's long a, jump, really man. Long way yeah. to go. It'd be three, uh, three jumps. Three froggy jumps. I could probably just, like, run up to it and slide across it really fast. And then the whole thing catches fine and you die in a fireball. I mean, I'm not made of fire. Come on, that'd be ridiculous. Who's made of fire? Nobody. Elementals. I mean, other than those guys, obviously. I mean, I assumed you knew I was talking about them. All right, look. All I know is we've got other options that we could get into. Maybe we should explore them. 
I feel like the door that's hardest to get to is the one where it's opening, though. And is the one that's going to get you killed. Could also be a trick. Easiest door to go through is a mind trick. Take the harder door, thinking it's the solution. Hmm. Tonk does have a point. Tell you what. Tonk, you seems like a acrobatic sort, quick on your feet, yeah? Can be. I've been known to trip the light fantastic myself. Perhaps we might be able to make it across there, see what's on the other side, so as not to endanger everyone else. Hmm. I think we sure could make it work. Um, really quickly, Tonka's gonna run back to the pile of kelpie seaweed and, uh, come back and just throw a slap of it onto the the spinning disc just to see what happens. Okay, you retrieve a piece of kelpie kelp and you throw it and it just sort of tumbles and then settles and sort of just slides under the thin film that's allowing this that's allowing this thing to spin and then you see it on the other side a while later. And then it mm. goes under the wall again and it comes mm. back. Uh, a neurofrog will rear up and like point up like with a finger like a light bulb moment and can I revert back to a neuro? Sure. Okay. Can I can I get just, that token? Yep, yeah, let me just Return from frog to frog? Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate to I return I, neuro. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, so, so but Tonk, Ritzel, before you start jumping, Anur will hold out two hands. High five, both of you. Ritzel will psh, high five. High fived. Okay, uh, at third level. Uh, oh. Spooder cut? Enhance ability. Oh, neat. Oh, wow. Um, okay. I'm going to do again? cats. So, uh,. It doesn't show like the 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 stuff. Just, so just tell me do, what it is. Uh, I'm gonna do Cat's Grace. So the target has advantage on dexterity checks, and they also don't take damage from falling twenty feet or less. Alrighty. Oh Neat. wow. Okay. You so. you two feel as the sort of you feel like energies, frogs. The yeah. natural energies frogs. begin to seep into your bodies, you feel much more agile than you were before. It's been very froggy, thank you. Ankh will smile and give a thumbs up to Anura. Turn back to the spinning plate and take one foot and press down on it to see what it's like to pressure check it. And see how much pressure it can take. You put your foot down, and you feel that this is a very slick surface. You're going to have to be very careful on it. Pressure-wise, it... not much happens. Also, Ritzel... this lasts for an hour. The, nice. The uh, Ritzel steps back, just kind of like rolls up his sleeves, evens out his hat, cracks his neck, runs forward, and just tries to like heely slide as far as he can using yeah. the momentum of the spin. Let's see. What also, my full movement as a dash, I think, is sixty. So I should be yeah. able to clear this whole thing. Also, don't panic. I'm just gonna. <laughs> uh, oh god, that's the perfect panic time has to begun. panic. Panic has begun. Don't worry. I was just resetting the fog of war, so you don't see anything you don't want. You don't uh, uh, need to. Uh, so, uh, so my my goal here is to use acrobatics, obviously, but. Yes. Uh, so go ahead, and as you're sliding across the floor, trying to maintain balance as best as you can, go ahead and roll an acrobatics check. Uh, with advantage, that's a 21. 21. Okay. Ooh. You very nimbly manage to uh, manage to slide across the oil, maintaining your balance, almost surfing. Uh, how far do I get? You make it the entire way over. Oh, nice. Sweet. So I, so I just, like, wall surf. <laughs> and oh then just God. jump off at the end. Whew. All right, that wasn't so bad. Kind of dust myself off. 
Estic will lean down to Anora. I totally gave him that idea. R- R- Ritzel gives him a thumbs up and winks. <laughs> You're the brightest um, of us all, Estic. Estic oh, the wise, on. we calls him. Ah, stop it. So who's Seriously, next? You're, you're, you're very bright red. Uh, well. uh, Tonk will just like like a, like a pinball spring setting in oh. and then just doom and try and dash across. Okay. Make an acrobatics check. With advantage because of Cat's Grace. Yeah. Frog's Grace. 17. <sighs> Definitely 17? the 17. You try to do much of the same thing. You try to slide uh, a a bit more. It's a bit more difficult for you because you're hairier, and the oil sort of gets absorbed into your fur, and you your toenails catch on something. It might not be entirely smooth here, and you slip and you fall flat on your back. You are prone, <gasps> and. As that happens, oh, that's uh, not you, good. Uh, you get a great view of this, Ritzel, as you see. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh. Uh, oh, this man. Pull up to the door, and uh, a crossbow bolt fires out of this little arrow slit. Oh, that's sh- an okay. So that's an arrow slit. Shit, and strikes into the middle of the floor. And hold on. No, 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 no. Let no, me you... check my reaction. See if I have anything. You motherfucker. And uh, Tom. Okay, yeah, no, my reactions are nothing. Oh no! Oh jeez! Oh, the God. floor yeah. is on fire. The floor is lava, literally. And Ritzel, you hear you hear from the back of the room. Snarl, I close the door. Uh, immediately, Ritzel, uh, seeing the floor get lit on fire, while uh, you know the people behind this door over here are definitely an issue, would pull the rope out from his little traveler sack that he has and just toss it to Tonk. All right, first things first. Tonk, you take nine points of fire damage. Howie. And Rissel will yell, grab the rope, as he throws it. Tonk right. will grab rope and pull out as fast as quick can do. As fast as quick, okay. yes. As, as fast, fast as, as quick. quick can do. All right, you, you reach out for the rope. Uh, Just go ahead and make another acrobatics check to try and get the rope. Uh, 21! Hey. That'll work. Wait a minute. You, you manage to get to your feet, and with, with Ritzel's help, uh, he just yanks you across onto the other side. Uh, you are still on fire, though. Does the extra kelpie seaweed that I grabbed help at all? Not quite. <laughs> Damn it! You might be able to throw no. it off. You, you might be able to throw it off of you because it's probably so, on fire. <laughs> and as you as you make it to the other side with Ritzel, uh, this is where we're going to roll initiative. Oh my god! Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Even 16. when the party sticks together, we get separated. Oh, Ritzel's well, got to be fair, it is a trap. Time. That's a ten for Estic. Fourteen. Does. <clears throat> Enhance ability have a range? I think it's touch. Yeah, I thought it was touch. Well, like I mean, like you don't like I can't I concentrate it, up for yeah unless, it's concentration. So yeah, unless unless it states that if they move out of your oh. range, it drops, then it, it will stay on. Okay. All right. Oh my so, god. Oh my god. Let me just go ahead and grab a dice here. Fourteen's respectable. Yeah. yeah. You're going ahead of me this time. I'm going last because I oh. choose to. I can just have... <laughs> no, oh. shit. Connor, it's too late. What? Way too late. I have deflect missiles. He didn't fire at you, though. He didn't, didn't shoot at oh. you. He got it. He fired yeah. at the floor. It was, it was in the floor. Okay, never mind. 
Yeah, I All thought right. about that too, but he's I was like by going through my sheet, like, so. what can I do? Because he's on the other side. Does the floor have deflect missiles? <laughs> There's a question. Very slippery, Connor. I'm very slippery. To, I'm going to the very slippery floor. All right. Uh, we're back up to round one. You know, if you douse a match in oil, it actually goes out. And uh, you know what? Actually, uh, why don't we go ahead and take a break here? Oh, okay. oh boy. Okay. I'm going to run to the restroom then. It is 10.30. Oh, oh. oh. 8.30 for me. I'm going to let out my dog. I'll be right back. How Dude. time flies when you're lighting people on fire. Well, how's it going, everybody? I hope you're enjoying Gobtober oh. and... Look at look at this fancy effect yeah. that we got going on here. I, I, I really like that fire so effect. Cool. That's really cool. That looks awesome. Uh, I mean it I mean it's hot. Astral Tabletop has all kinds of fantastic visual effects that can make your tabletop games visually just stunning. Now, I've been meaning to ask, Astral Tabletop, is that a free service or is there like premium aspects to it? You 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 can sign up for free and you can play games for free. Which we are currently. I don't know about we, your account. We are currently doing. We are. Uh, we were fortunate enough to. We were fortunate enough to be gifted a couple of platinum subscription accounts, which means we have access to all kinds of goodies. Uh, I'll read them off here for you. Um. With uh, the free account comes with uh. A whole bunch of stuff. You get you get some of these effects that you're seeing right now. You've got the dynamic lighting for free. You've got fog of war. Oh, yeah. You've got weather and visual effects. Okay. You've got you've got the character quick actions, which if you're using the built-in character sheets, there's like a little hot bar that you can that you can use to just quickly roll something. Instead of just opening your character sheet, you can just click the hot bar. All that's built in to the service. You get access to the Discord and the forums with the free. Um, no ads, no waiting time, no nothing. With the gold supporter, you get access to canopy layers, custom character sheets. Mm. Uh, 16,000 different tiles, sounds, and portraits. Dynamic lighting with special effects. Eight more weather effects and six more visual effects. Nice. And with the platinum supporter bonus that we've got right now, you get all that plus 50 gigabytes worth of storage on the site. Damn. Uh, as well as a 100 megabyte upload limit and high quality uh, video chat. Hell yeah. So it's been a lot of fun messing around with Astral. Uh, just... The tutorials are quick, simple. It's fun to learn, easy to use. Uh, this is only like a couple of months worth of work trying to get it to look like this. Um, awesome. Totally yeah. check it out. It's fantastic. They have a huge compendium full of all different uh, mm. types of stuff for all different types of games as well. Um so yeah, Astral is fantastic. Be sure to check them out. Caitlin. Oh yeah, yes. Since uh, you were just kind of like fried on the wheel there, would that make you a tonkatsu? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you know, I just, back, I just got back and I was eating, so I was still muted. But coming back to that, it hurts. Yeah. All right, I'll leave too. I'll let everybody simmer. On. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> Lanny. For what it's worth, as the as the ultra weeb of the group, I thought it was clever. Thank you. I didn't say it was dumb. I just said it hurt. <sighs> you have a low tolerance, Mark. I do. I have a very low tolerance for pain. Look, I I, I live around Kaiser. I get subjected to the worst <laughs> puns imaginable. Does he right. test that on you? He he tests them and he tests me. I'll be back. <laughs> Test. That's true friendship right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, if you can't test your torture devices on your best friends, who can you test it on? Which, by the way, Gaijin, um, what are you doing next week? Um, well, hey, I gotta put my yogurt down. Um, I have a, I have a few meetings on Wednesday, but, um, 
that's what I'm going to be doing the Fat Man Clam uh, Obi video, so it shouldn't ah. be too terribly hard to put together. Uh, why do you ask? Oh, I don't know. We should, like, do something. Like, have I'd, be down, I'd be down. I'd be down with hanging out. I should have the time. This uh, this freaking Shuten Doji Fate video is freaking 14 minutes long, so it's going to eat up the majority of my week. But next week should be fun. Nice. We will we will talk and arrange something then. Huzzah! Oh, dude, you know what we should do? Hmm. We need to go to Yama uh, and get their half price sushi. Oh, yeah. Or a one dollar sushi, I should say. Yeah, we should do that. That would be good. Mm -hmm. How you, how you doing, chat? Do you, do you like the froggy stuff going on? Oh yeah, and w welcome to the Mark totally stole this idea from Med Bosco halftime show. I, I had to go to the restroom first because unlike Bosco, um, I actually am human, so um, you know, normal bodily functions apply. But um, he is yeah. your DM for the month, so be careful. That's a compliment. What are you talking about? Oh, well, he can he can kill. He can. I don't know if Connor read any other bits or subs or anything, but. Uh, 100 bits from Zenlita. Gaijin, if Mark says he has this super rare bottle of wine hidden in the back of his basement, flee. Mm. Why? What if, what, if I need, what if I need that to learn Kung Fu? I will say, I've, pretty, I've made it pretty obvious that my house doesn't have a basement. So <laughs> if I say that to you and you believe me, that's on you. Thero, did you get the joke? For, for the love of God. <laughs> did you get the joke, God. Thero? C Cask of Amontillado? That, that short story? No, the, no, that uh, I made I made a Shinmu three joke. Oh, I I, I don't know what ah, that is. That's the I'm Shinmu sorry. I haven't played. It'll be years Shenmue. before you can face me. Oh, is my mic popping? Is no, is, no. Okay, mm. somebody, somebody in chat was. Here's somebody stirring something. Mm. That's just me. Sorry. Are you eating yogurt? He's eating more yogurt. Oh, yeah. There's I told you, yogurt yogurts. fiend. I told you, Lenny mate got me obsessed with it. That son of a bitch, I love him for it. I'm getting the yogurt. Audio is switching out on my end. Really? Um. Are you guys have... hearing anything in my audio? No. 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 Um. I have Re problems. Refresh. Refresh the, the stream. Also, we have 420 people watching. Hell yeah. <gasps> nice. Blaze it. Oh, we That's... did. Bla oh my god, this Blaze pizza. Blaze it, indeed. Blaze Floor is literally fire, so smoke, we did smoke in fact weed. Blaze smoke, it. smoke weed. No, every don't day, blaze day. it. Smoke I don't want to be on man. fire anymore. Wolf floor. I'm very sorry. Connor, yep. I don't know what bits and subs you might have read. I did read one uh, 100 bits from Zenlita. I see something from Pixel Bell. I'll let you decide if you want to read that one out loud. Uh, Pixel Bell 10, thank you for the 20 bits. Yeah, I'm a MILF. Man, I love frogs. Oh Man, I love frogs. <laughs> Man, I love frogs. Blackfoot wow. Fairy, the 420 bits. The floor, the floor, the floor is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the. It was supposed to be the roof. Ah! Oh no. I will Dragon say suit. that the when the roof bits. is on fire, the party eventually has an end. But if the floor is on fire, the party never stops. Well, oh. if the floor is on fire, then the roof will eventually be on fire. I don't want only anything to be on fire anymore. Luckily, it only takes an action to put yourself out. But, but it takes a lifetime to violence. put yourself down. Un unless oh, it's sorry. advanced fire. If, if, I, if, I were, if, if I were faster than you this time, I'd use my action to put you out, because I do have a thing that could swap you. You could oh. theoretically... What? Stay on fire. While you're on fire. Yeah, you can you can monk. You go, can go, go up to the... You can go up to the door while on fire and burn down the door. Yeah, just roll against the door. That'll do it. I don't like any of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this plan at all. There just... was uh, 200 bits from Drago soon. What character sheet are we using? We're using uh, D and D Beyond. Beyond, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because they are integrated Beyond. into Astral. Astral. Via Beyond 20, you can use your D&D Beyond character sheets in Astral Tabletop. Fantastic little program that uh, puts your roles in D&D Beyond into the virtual tabletop of your choice. This works for a number of virtual tabletops, including Roll20. It's also, pretty cool. Also, 100 bits from Riotous Frog. Kindred spirits, Ooh. frogs rule, Kelpies die. Yeah, I mean they did. Heckin' got him. Uh, 
Goblin and a Kobold, too. Thank you for the 20 bits. Someone call Nelly. He might have a lawsuit on his hands. What? No, it's fine. It's getting lava here. <laughs> Careful. Gonna lose your life. Yep. You don't want to get DMCA. Be careful. Okay, that's Indeed. clearly uh, that clearly falls under parody. We'll be fine. Now, see, that's the problem, Mark. Parody isn't a right; it's a defense. Uh, I will. The judge. The judge goes. I didn't self. laugh. It's... Overruled. Oh my god. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> yeah, did it laugh. Did it Not laugh. funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not funny. Overruled. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Judge Kang. I'm sorry. Gorilla Geek, thank you for the 100 bits. Stay on fire and ask for a hug. Ooh. And Mr. Snacks, thank you for the 100 bits. No Snacks. message, just bits. Uh, are we all you. good to pick back up? Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Uh, I'm ready. ready. I'm yeah. fully. I've, I've been here. Yeah. Okay. I've been commenting. I'm full of yogurt and ready. What? We done been here. All right. Well, what let's go ahead and bring it back do? to the battle music. Here. Burn. It's okay, you're on fire. Yeah, I can't hear anything because it's all on fire. <laughs> what was that? I can't hear you. I'm on fire. What? You'll have, to speak, you'll have to speak up. I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> not for long if this flamey stuff is on it. Uh-huh. Uh, I can't hear That's you. Hot. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, Sorry. my God. All right. Just got to do one last thing here. Okay. <clears throat> Just rolling for character death and... <laughs> Mark Stein points. Come on, man. Oh, I wasn't talking about Tonk. Tonk oh. will be fine. Tonk I Ritzel has a sudden heart attack. And... <laughs> oh, no. The sparrow was no more. Narla. All right. With well, that, combat has started. The, the veteran's turn. I don't know how to fight fire. Also, Wait, with gonna... fire. I got it. <laughs> yeah, use more fire. <laughs> oh my god. Don't worry about a thing. I'm just going to do this again. <laughs> now we're worried. There's only one way to fight fire. Pulls out a torch. Uh, seemingly, nothing happens. Nice. It's now Griggle's Ooh. turn. Griggle, the floor's on fire. Yeah, tell me about it. Um, our fault. Hmm. I have so many ways to murder, but no ways to fight fire. Oh my god. Sorry. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm built for. Um, I'm not built for fire either. You pack a whole everyone, lot of murder in this baby, slash everyone, Riddle's ass. <laughs> everyone speaks goblin, don't, don't we? Yes. God, I hope goblin. so. Yes. Yeah. Um, Connor, I'm going to ready in action... Uh, to chill, chill touch the shit out of anything that comes through that door, comes through the hole, doesn't matter. Uh, and in, in Goblin specifically, yelling out, Wait for the fire to burn out, everybody hide! Get a defensible position! <laughs> Look at, looking, <laughs> Ritzel looks left, Ritzel looks right. Don't think that's much of an option, mate. I, uh... Griggle remains to be on fire. Griggle points at the uh, corner over here of the door. Because it looks like you could fit back there. If someone opened it, you'd stab him right in the back. Depends on which way that door opens. That's true. Just slams <laughs> open on your face. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's that's all I got. Okay. I'm not walking through that. You're just warning your friends? Alrighty. One of my friends said I'm ready in action to just uh, murder. Okay. If I can see anything. Readying, Readying a murder. Readying a murder. Readying that murder. All right. That'll be your turn then. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. I'm going to have to get used to that. <laughs> Tonk, it's now your turn. Tonk is going to 
do whatever possible to smother these flames. Smother the flames. Like stop oh. them from burning me. Yeah, okay, so you can you can hit the floor and roll around on your back to put the to put the flames out as an action. Yes. And I will still have an action. Because I have two. Uh well no. Uh, what? Oh, if you, attack, you, you, you have only, an you, extra attack. Yeah. yeah. You only have one oh, action. Fudge buns. Okay. That will be my action, but we'll also lean against the door and yell, Kyferius sent us. Kyferius? Whatever his name is. I always say it wrong. Die. Every time. Make Die the deception Ferius. check with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's already going to be disadvantage because it's negative one. Ugh. Seven. You hear nothing from beyond the door. <laughs> Onk pouts. <laughs> Onk just pouts. You do that. I guess I have nothing else to do. So, uh... You, you... Uh, we'll, we'll get into the corner. Try and be right. sneaky as much as possible, but that'll be it. All right, that brings us to Ritzel. You're up. All right, this little arrow slit. I'm a small creature. Would you say I might be you able to fit through You are not thin enough to fit through an arrow <laughs> slit. Okay, I, I just did not know based on the size of that thing compared to like what it is on the map. Needed it's to like know. Small, extra small, and extra, extra, extra small. Part you octopus. Say is, it, is it tiny or minuscule? <clears throat> you can you can fit you can probably fit your hand in there, but you're not you're not fitting your whole body through there. Not unless you're like an octopus or something. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Connor, I'd like to roll for willing myself into an octopus. <laughs> uh, that's a joke, lads. I roll to oh. disbelieve the whole oh. size. <laughs> Ritzel is actually just going to shout out, lads, I believe there's been a bit of a misunderstanding here. We're only here to assist you. Please. Help us out here. My friend is very badly burned. Roll Punk a deception stuff like check. Deception? I'm, I'm not trying to deceive them. I believe I'm on their side. Yeah, that's that's what Tonk was doing, too. I'm Roll. trying to persuade them. Roll a persuasion check? Persuasion is a lot better for me. I would have had the same. 25! Okay. I mean you no harm! And I take out one of my daggers from my pouch and I just toss it into the room. Tink, 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 tink. Okay. I mean you no harm. Here's a dagger. You throw a your dagger, dagger in dagger. Through, the air, through the arrow slit. Yep, just toss it gently. Handle first. Unfortunately, it bounces off the floor. The floor rolled a nat twenty, and the oh my god! Oh my the god. Gun. <laughs> yeah, the the floor was the floor had some ricochet power behind it. Uh, by the way, I do not throw the dagger that is hidden in my cane. I just throw my regular dagger. Okay. Uh, for the moment, nothing happens. And uh, but there's that a, there's a stillness. All right. So no, nobody replies. I don't hear, like, any shuffling or nothing going on back there or any, like, hushed conversations. You don't... You you can... Your your passive perception is 19, so you can... You can hear sort of, like, rushed whispers. <laughs> Sounds like a, a, a masculine voice and then a feminine voice whispering back. We can't quite okay. make out what they're saying. There's a man and a woman back there, potentially. But yeah, uh, other than that, I do believe... Let me check real quick. Uh, I do have an eye for detail, which as a bonus action, I can use my perception check to see, like... Tr uh, check to spot hidden creatures or objects. Can I use my hearing to try to determine where they are in that room? Sure. Why not? Yeah, I'll put that on the screen there. Make a... Uh, make a perception check, then. 16. Oh, oh. 
you, the party is split up, and we're looking for the, clues. You get the sense, uh, just from the whispers, you hear someone around here. Wait, around here-ish. Okay, so they're just kind of around the corner. Seems like it. All right. And that'll be my turn. Anura, you're up. Uh, how high are these flames going? Um, uh, they are reaching halfway up from the floor to the ceiling. So if... would be... Hypothetically speaking, if I was a creature that could walk on the ceiling, would I get burned by the flames? It's a cylinder that's spinning, so... Well, heat rises, so... Mm. It would be hot, but would they be on fire? You wouldn't be on fire from the lamp oil. Hmm. And you also wouldn't be subject to the spinning floor underneath. Oh, so Hmm. the floor hits a ceiling at some point. Well, it's... And, like, so the cylinder goes over a ceiling. The cylinder slides under the walls. Okay. So the walls on either side, the cylinder, the flat surface, is what's rotating. And that slides under the wall. He, okay, he described okay. that with the seaweed before, where it got okay, like, yeah, that's my under bad. the steam. <laughs> gotcha. Just like to point out that there's lots of water in the other room. Oh, good. We'll just uh, take it one mm. mouthful at a time, then. <laughs> Let's go grab some buckets. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Quick, Jezebel! Your time has come! <laughs> <laughs> just drops out there into all the water. Grabs, <laughs> grabs one mouthful, walks back. <laughs> <laughs> would we know that adding water to a oil fire would be a bad idea? Would we know that? Uh, if you want to make like that. 30 bags of flour. If you want to make an intelligence all, yeah. check, you certainly can. Wait a minute. Actually, um, what is the material of the, uh, the walls and the floor? Stone. Except is for the effect- disc, which is metal. Ah. Uh, is the area affected, could I, could it be affected by mold earth? The walls could. Hmm. Oh, that was a good idea. I... Better than anything else I, we got right now. I, I mean, I, as, a, as a reminder, we're inside a mountain. I so I don't I don't know what to do, Mark. I don't I don't want to spend like another wild shape or another spell. I kind of. I mean, you could just wait a turn. Yeah. There's nothing, you, you don't have to capitalize on every single turn. Yeah, we we, we can okay. see how my persuasion pays off. Okay, you know what? I will just I'll pull out my big mace. I'll cast Shillelagh on it and end my turn. Okay. By the way, Connor, I, I want to um, I want to quickly amend. If anyone's I'll back coming up out, a bit as well. if anyone's coming out non-threateningly, I do not want to murder. <laughs> okay. Are you sure? <laughs> if 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 I see a sword out, yes. If not, no. <laughs> what if they come carrying a uh, Sudoku for Dummies book? Mark, don't complicate the situation. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. What if the guy's uh, really ugly? That's your turn, Anura? Yeah. Yeah, shillelagh with big hammer. Alrighty. You cast some natural energy on your hammer, and you cast shillelagh. Gotta click the end turn button. Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm still used to it, too. It's new for us all. How high is the ceiling? Uh, ceiling about... The ceiling. Uh, <clears throat> this corridor is about uh, ceilings like thirty feet high. Okay. Um, are there? This is. Hear me out, okay? It's gonna sound like a stupid question, but hear me out. Are there rules? Oh, I'm sorry, ten feet higher. Oh, Jesus. Okay, never mind then. Yes, no, I read it wrong. I was gonna ask if there are rules for vaulting a gap, but my glaive has ten foot reach, which means that if I tried to vault with a ten foot ceiling, I'm going to hit the ceiling. So never so mind. You're... 
Uh, <laughs> also, this, also, this thing's like 60 feet long. Uh, well, I was going to ask what the rules for that would be to see if it was feasible. Ah, okay. Now it's definitely not uh, It feasible. would probably be an athletics check. I do not believe there's a way that I could get over that with a 10-foot ceiling. So, um, okay. Can we see Ritzel and Tonk on the other side? You can like just bar- you can just barely see them. They're sort of like silhouetted on the other side, but you you see the telltale uh, you see the telltale sort of uh, strip of orangish fur across Tonk's chest. And I I can see that Tonk is not on fire anymore, right? Right. Okay. Well singed. Cool. Um. Then uh, Estic is going to do his best to intimidate the fire. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 wait. Stop burning already! We gotta get over there! And Roll intimidation. Oh my god. It's, I mean, it. yeah. Nat 20. Nat 20. Nat, Nat 20. 20. Oh. Not Six? Come on! Nothing happens. <laughs> I figured. I figured it wouldn't happen even if I succeeded. So, but yeah, it's more for comedy. That's my turn. Okay. Then it's a perfect roll. It is now Mystery Six. Person's turn. Six. Ah! Uh, Ritzel and Tonk, you see a red-haired woman rounding the corner. Ritzel waves. Tonk gives a little curt nod. Still patting out some singy bits. Your new highest? Yes. I believe that we is. How long you been in there? A while now. Anyway, you could point back at the fire. If you are who you say you are, you have to let it burn out. How long might that take? The time here is rather limited, should we say? Hmm. Make another persuasion check. It's because we're goblins, isn't it? That's an 11 that time. Damn, that's with a plus 8. Come on. Why? You're trying to leave? Not immediately, no. She, she, her eyes seem to narrow a bit, and she walks into the shutter and <laughs> slams it shut. Oh. <sighs> Are they rude? Tonk, get the yes. door, would you? Um, <laughs> comes up to the little thing that she shut. Can we come in? <laughs> I, 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 I look back. I look back up at Tonk. I think they've made their position quite clear. I yeah. don't you, want you, to cause misunderstanding. You get nothing from the other side. Oh, all right. Tonk. Uh, well, it, I try think... tries the door. I, I think uh, I think that just means in initi- I think that now, just means so. initiative continues. Yeah. You try the door and it appears to be locked. Yeah, tries to just punch it open. Then athletics Jeez. check. Oh, we were at the end of the round, so nineteen. Okay. Oh right, nineteen. Yep. Yeah, sure enough, the door uh, buckles Punches. under the weight of your shoulder. <laughs> kind of leans around the door. I do not wish to fight, please. As you say that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, hang on. 
initiative tracker is. Oh, Whip. it wasn't your turn. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's what, that's what, that's what I was wondering about. Oh. All right, none of that happens. <laughs> just, <laughs> just kidding. But, I will stand man. here. <laughs> will we let that stand if that is the t if that is the action though? Oh well. If you want to, Griggles, you're up. Oh. Does the veteran not do anything? Not that you can tell. Gotcha. Okay. No, I just I just want to make sure. Um. Uh, um. Man, I wish I had create water. Right. No Me one ever thinks to prep that. <laughs> oh yeah, no one does. Um. Unless you're going to the desert. It's true. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm digging through what I got. Um. You never know. Okay, Connor. Yeah. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to cast thaumaturgy. Yeah, no, no, they can, they can hear me, right? Like, I would, I would assume that they. I'm just calling out. I'm like, to them, to the, to the folks who are in, ugh, uh, who are in this room. They might be able to hear you. There's a okay, roaring fire, all... and they're past metal and stone. All right, I will thaumaturgy then. Um, I'm going to try a diplomatic bully, and and I just yell out, I yell out with this booming voice. We know you've been trapped here with the adventures before. You can either trust us, or you can rot in there. Now let us in, or we're all gonna end up dead. Uh, you don't need to make a check. They okay. don't seem to reply. Wow. I think Assholes. diplomacy I, I think diplomacy is closed when she slammed that gate. I shut would have in my figured face. logic would do something though. Well, also, didn't she get upset when you said you wanted to leave? Yeah, it's it seems like they might not be on our side. Yeah, they might be on uh, Mr. What's his face's side. Gotcha. It's not Honestly, I, I, I said that very purposefully to test that. Hmm. Okay. All right. Graptus. Well, what's his Kirkpatrick is what my brain came up with. Karaptus <clears throat> is his name. Oh, uh, Velociraptus. Gonna... Kirkpatrick. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Kirkpatrick. I'm gonna hang along the uh, side of the wall then, and I guess I'll call turn. Okay. That'll take us to Tonk. Uh, that exactly you... what played out plays okay. out, except you... the flavor would be that uh, Tonk would like punch right above the door handle, fist goes straight through the door, and then slowly uh -huh. turn the knob on the other side. <laughs> you you sort of flip the lock <laughs> on the other side, and you... <laughs> yeah, I just imagine your hand, like, grasping for, like, the little, like... Uh, the little lock? Uh, the little chain pop, lock. Pop, pop, and pop, pop, as pop, you pop, do, pop. the veteran's ready to action will go off. Hey, don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his ready don't. action. His ready action. Stop. <laughs> Does a 15 hit uh -oh. you? Oh. <clears throat> it's... Tonk. Uh, yes, I hear you. I'm deciding. As a monk. It, do I... it does. Oh, shit. Wait, okay. no. It. I, I can... Uh, 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 deflect? Deflect missile. If it's a missile. It can be a, a missile. Uh, or... By a ranged crossbow. weapon attack, it's a crossbow. So yes, it is, it is a missile. All right, so you, can, you... Reduce, so you can reduce the damage by I think like one d ten plus your plus eleven. Yeah, yeah. Plus your monk level. Oh, yep. plus monk level. That's what it was. All right. So go ahead and, and this would deal. Oh well, that's pitiful. You just catch you you. <laughs> You just catch the bolt right as it comes towards your face. Oh my god. So punches through it. the door, unlocks it, shoots an arrow at me, I catch it, and just, like, Bo toss it. Oh, if you use a key point, you can use it as a dart immediately. I mean, yeah, you could All throw it back right. if you wanted to. But no, that does cost a I'm key gonna point. I'm going to save that. All right. I feel like you pull it through the door and try to pick a lock with it. The, oh, the... yeah. I, I just, I just I'm love just the monk styling of catching the arrow and throwing it right yeah, back at them. The, it's the, real fun. the somewhat handsome man on the other side sort of uh, 
shirks back, uh, surprised that you caught the arrow, and he goes to draw a sword. Oh no. It is still your turn, uh, Tonk. Definitely draws hand out. Draws uh, hand. <laughs> and can open this door now, correct? Yes. Wait, did I open it? It is open. There we go. It is now open. Uh, you can't see inside, though. It's weird. Yep. I think you have to... It is oh. obscured. Hmm. Well, you can just I had this problem there. before. I cannot. There it is. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, we see it. Um... Uh, let's see. Now that I have this dart, I will indeed throw it. Oh, okay. So you're, you're. Well, are you, spin mm. are you spending a key point or are you throwing a dart? Why would I spend the key point? Because you that, caught that would the have been dart. Yeah, because yeah. um, your your action was to break open the door, so you don't have an attack. But if you spend the key point, you can attack. You can throw the you can throw the you can throw the bolt. You can throw the bolt back, back the by spending a key shot. point. Dingles. All right, so I can't do that. So I will not move in there. I will just have opened the door and stay in my happy corner. Okay. But I can't mm. move. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Help. Please. I don't know why. Help. It gets stuck in doorways. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Did not like that. Door is closed, I guess. Nope. Um, there, it's open help. now. Oh god, oh god. Okay. Oh, you're cut in half. Okay, now I'm in my corner. Safe and okay. happy once again. Happy corner. <clears throat> oh, that'll be your turn? Uh, uh Yes. Okay. Yes. Ritzel, you're up. <clears throat> King in calmly. <laughs> okay. Eh. Eh. Why yeah, can't I move? Same problem, huh? <sighs> yeah, it's really hard. No idea why it's doing this, but there you yeah, go. Yeah, it's. Can you drag me into that room, Connor? There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Now clearly we got off on the wrong foot here. Uh, I am going to, let's see. She looks like the casty sort. He looks like the, uh, well-armored sort. He looks like a better match for somebody like Tonk, so I'm going to use my, uh, insightful fighting on the lady over here. Okay. Which, just for the sake, I'll do that. So I'm gonna insight her. Versus her deception? Versus her deception. Okay. Ugh, 15. That's not great. I might actually... She rolled an 8, so... Oh, you say yay! yay! Yeah! Wow. All right. So I, I just walk up. Look, clearly we got off on the wrong foot here. Uh, just reading her demeanor, how does she How does she uh, regard me as I walk defensive. in? Defensive. She is very defensive now. Well... In for a penny, in for a pound. These people did just light Tonk on fire. I guess I'll draw first blood. Oh, so how about blood. so how about we start over here? I tap my I tap my candle floor. My name is Ritzel Vixel Glix, and I pull out I pull out the dagger and shove it straight at her. Okay. Attack roll. Roll into attack. Whoa pow! As a oh. sixteen to hit. A sixteen will hit. Woo! Okay, uh, 25 damage then. Oh. Ooh. As I stab it like square into her kidneys. And as she is a creature that is larger than me, I'm going to go ahead and just oh. pump this in here. A uh, little goblin ability known Hell as yeah. do, 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 Fury of the Small, which allows me to add eight damage to that particular roll, so that is 32 Ooh. points of damage as I 32 stab her in points the gut. of damage? Wait, you said ah. 25 and then an extra 8? 25 and an additional 8. So that should be 33. 33. Yeah, 33, oh, 33, my dude. My bad. 33, 33 points of yeah. damage. It is late and I am doing math. All good. Ah. <laughs> she she clutches where, where you stabbed her and the man in armor goes, Snarla! Snarla. Beautiful name. I'll make sure it's written on... I'll make sure it's written on the tombstone. 
No. <laughs> We're terrible people. Yeah, we are. <laughs> We're goblins. <laughs> what if they could have been our right. friends? That's Ritzel's turn. In fact, they it lost is. lost that chance when they chose to close the door. <laughs> they shouldn't have slammed the door shut on me. It's very rude. That's not it how you rude. make friends. Yeah, they shouldn't be racist. Yeah. Ritzel stabs racists. <laughs> the three R's. Wait, that's only two R's. That's two the R's. The R in race, the R in stab is silent. <laughs> Sarah, it is now your turn. <laughs> um, hmm. Starm. The fire Starm. is still there. Yes, it is. It seems to be blazing quite well. Doesn't look like it's going out anytime soon. Now that you can tell. Maybe if we start spitting. <laughs> uh, let me measure something out really quick. Oh, I can't even. I can't even get it that close. Shit! Shit, shit, shit. Um. Shit. I. Yes, because I took damage from the last fight, I'll drink a health potion, but that's kind of all I got. Sure. Like, like, can, can I ask, like, do you guys want me to, like, wild shape and get over there, or should I hold? That's got to be you. your decision. <laughs> Look off. Yeah. Out of curiosity, you Cat's decide. Grace. Cat's Grace, it's, it's only skill checks, right? For dexterity skill checks, not just right. dex anything. Okay, right, so my yeah. attack was not with advantage. Gotcha. No. Right. You do still get sneak attack, though, because you did your insightful fight. Oh, of course. But just just double checking for future reference. All right, Theron. I'm going to turn into a giant spider and go on to the ceiling. All right. That doesn't break your concentration, right? No. Wild shaping doesn't break concentration. You can maintain concentration while you are wild shaped. Let me yep. just. Oh man, <laughs> I want to take a lift. <laughs> I want to get taken <laughs> for a ride. I'm gonna take. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know. Let me let me look at the because I have the spider, the giant spider <laughs> stats. It's got 14 strength, but I don't know if I can like. I don't know if I can hold you. Um. Okay. Also, Ritzel, end your turn. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. so that is just, something I gotta get used to. Just so we can keep so, track of the rounds here, because something uh, does happen. Oh. So I can so dash. The fire has a timer. I can dash 60 feet. So. All right, and you're going up on the ceiling. Yeah. Okay. How much movement would I have from where I am on the ceiling? Like if eh. I. If you, and then you have a 60 foot dash, you'd probably end up right there. Right I can't here. see what you're doing. Okay, there. so, so, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did not mean to. What the? F yeah, what yeah, the? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. The spider, the spider is burrowing. I, I tried to move my token and like it dragged the camera. What the fuck? Okay, so, so like right there. Yeah. I wish there was a grid. Toasty okay. spider. Oh, yeah. you want a grid? I can give it to you. It would be cool also if there was a three-dimensional view so we could see him on the ceiling. Mm, that would I be pretty fun. No, like no, no. I think, I think I think there is an isometric like 3D tabletop thing in the works. There's your grid. There's your blood place. Oh, there, there it is. is. Yeah, cool. All right, yeah. And so do I take any damage while I'm on the ceiling? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Hell, uh, excuse me. Hey, All right. no spider burns. Okay, so yeah, spider burn. is spider. spider is moving and grooving. So the spider and is schmoving, well, and I am turn. resetting the fog of war again, so you don't spider see anything moving, wacky. Moving. But then I, how will we know all your secrets? I know Estic. it's not a frog, but frogs don't have spider climb. Estic, Which is weird. Oh. They actually Frosty climb better than spiders. Balls. Yeah. You'd think there'd be some sort of 
Frog to cure up. Um, all right. So, okay. I am so very tired of missing these parties. I am going to run through the floor. Excellent. I'm gonna dash oh. across. You're dashing. Oh. Roll an athletics check, or no, acrobatics check. Oh, I wish it was athletics. Thirteen. You get about halfway. Oh. And you fall prone. Cool. You also take. Oh. 10 fire damage. All right. Important question. Yes. Does falling prone end my turn? No. Okay. So it's considered an action to stand up, or do you just use half your movement? It's half your movement. Okay. So since I was dashing, do I have any movement left to get up? You moved 30 feet. 30 feet, so you can stand up, but you can't move okay. anymore. All right, so I'm going to stand up, and then I'm going to action surge. Oh, You're gonna my action God. Action surge. Action surge. Oh, no. And I will use that action to move the remainder of my feet. Oh, my God. To get God. across the fire. Make another Maybe. acrobatics check. Come on. Oh, oh fuck me! You managed to make <laughs> oh, it to no. the up, you managed to make it to the other end, but you slip on the last little bit of oil, and you are prone once more. So Tonk, Estic, now wreathed in flame, lands face down on the ground right next to you. <laughs> Fortunately, that was all but, your and you turn, just so hear... you don't take any more damage. Okay, you just hear, "I made it across the fire." Tonk is just, like, patting down <laughs> where it's smoking. And that will be my turn. All right. It is now Snarla's turn. And as you pull your dagger away uh, from, from her Ritzel, you hear her go, <clears throat> You... And her red oh. hair begins to turn a darker shade, and her nose cr scrunches up, her teeth elongate, and she transforms into her hybrid uh, werewolf form. Uh, oh, goody! Oh! I think I chose the wrong target. <laughs> Glad I oh, by the way, just for, uh, for the record, now that you mentioned that, the dagger that I used is silver. So, for the, for the sake of any damage reduction or extra damage. Indeed. Uh, and she is going to reach a hand out to you that begins to crackle with electricity. Oh, oh no! That, that's not particularly good now, is it? Does a 21 hit you? A 21 will, in fact, hit me. I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, well, let, let's let's see how this plays out. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Yes. <laughs> am I... Am I able to use reactions? Yes. Oh, you're yes. Okay. You're gonna <laughs> use your third rune. Actually, I this time I will use. Hold on, wait. I need to measure. Sorry. Uh. The other attacker would have. Actually, to I don't think you can feet. see her. He's he's well. No. She's not so in direct line of sight. It's... Well, it would be it would be I'd have to be able to see Ritzel. I don't know you if you can, can see, see me either. either. Like there's there's okay. a corner so then, of a wall between us. Yeah. Gotcha. So then okay, never never mind. Much as I'd love to be protected by you, I would love to protect barely you. Out of the way this, warrior. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. No worries. I'm about to get attacked by the were wizard. At least you're not wearing metal armor. Everybody always asks werewolf. Nobody ever asks how wolf. How oh wolf. god. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, um, Maybe uh, she's a discount wolf. I walked right into blood. All I'm saying is I walked right into Bloodborne, and <laughs> I'm okay with that. 
So how, how much damage so... would I be taking? Oh. Eh. You take six lightning damage as she grabs you by the throat and her grasp just sends electricity throughout your entire body and you go rigid uh, just long enough for her to pull away. Uh, and I believe that is going to be Three, four, her five, six. a turn. I will not use my reaction to... Wait, well, if she's pulling away... She can't. You, or you can't, because she just shocking grasped you. I can't I can't use an opportunity attack? You lose your reaction. Oh, yeah. I lose Oh, I lose my Okay. Shock and grasp does that, yeah. yeah. Lightning damage it takes uh 2d8 lightning damage and can't take reactions until the start of its next turn. Okay. Good to know. So I couldn't even uncanny dodge that if I wanted to. Right. Yeah, shock and grasp is really good. Mm. It's surprisingly but she, utilitarian. But she backed off after? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She got she's stabbed for over thirty damage because <laughs> she's a wizard. Yeah, a oh. were wizard. I'm, I'm, I'm a. I know that Ritzel will allow this. Just. <laughs> it is now the veteran's turn. Oh, uh oh. And he's gonna get up in your face, Ritzel. No. Oh jeez. Stop. I, I just start uh, sizzling. That was. Oh hello. I still can't use reactions, huh? That's right. Right. Okay. Yeah, until, the start, until the start of your next turn. And I can't uh, see him, so I he's can't going, help you. He's going to bring his long sword down on you. I'd rather you didn't, though. He's gonna. You can even take him out to dinner first. Yeah. That's a 22 to hit you. Oh. It does, in fact, hit good old Ritzel. Okay. You're gonna take. This is a D10, actually. Please don't. <laughs> Uh, eight slashing damage. And he's going to go for another strike at you. Please stop. 19 <laughs> hit you. That does, in fact, still hit. For an additional 10 slashing damage. That's not great. Well, it's what Ritsu gets. And he sort of moves defensively in front of the werewolf in the corner now. You stay Slash away back. from her, you freak! Ech, calling me a freak? Pin dare you? I'm just That's a man good. trying to do a bloody job. That's gonna be his turn. Which brings us to Griggle! Oh, okay. oh Griggle! Yeah, I know. Hmm. Car, you said it was a straight. I I, I know the, the the blobbiness of the fire might desert, might uh, alternate the size, but you said it was a sixty foot across uh, patch, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Well, I'll tell you what. I can't do much. Um. No. No. Man. It's not gonna do anything. Spirit guardians can't stop fire. Um, I am going to cast guidance on myself. I assume this is the very edge. Yes, right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I will just prep myself to run because I can't sit here and wait. Um, alrighty. Actually. No, okay, I'll do it next turn. Sorry. All Good. right. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, hang on. There That'll right. make it Tonk's turn. Oh. <laughs> I don't want Ritzel, to fight, but it's so obvious that we're not. Uh, doing you're hearing Ritzel getting brutalized. If that helps. Tonk is like. Uh, ah. Um. Can I run over to Metal Plate Man? Or does you he get a swing at me if I run in? 
uh, he only, is only currently engaged with Ritzel. You can run up to him without getting attacked. Then I'm gonna do that. Okay. You run up to the man who's squaring up with Ritzel. And I just... I just punch him in the face. All right, go for it. I will. A take roll. Oh, yeah. 23. There we go. Uh, so that's eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I'm uh, going to do it again. Okay. 27. Oh, yeah. Still hits oh, 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 oh. Uh, that'd be bludgeoning damage. 11. Damn. You just cold cock him across the cheek a couple of times. <laughs> Is there, and as I come to assault this armored man, is there anything I notice about him, or is it too fast? He just appears to be uh, a man in heavy-looking armor. He's a human. He's sort of got dusty brown hair and a goatee. We don't know anything else. Nothing they are tell. literally, right now, they are literally trying to murder us. I know. I just, I just don't like, I don't like violence. I'm sorry. I know. Wait, that, it's well, why, it's why I tried diplomacy first. We tried really hard. We, we did try really hard. They would not listen to reason. They shot so, an arrow they at you. They wouldn't listen to logic for crying out loud. Yeah, and they leave you on fire. Yeah, they're being very racist, too. Yeah, they yeah. are being racist. You know what? I'm going to use another key point. Flurry of blows. <laughs> All right. Flurry of blows. <laughs> because that was rude. 21. <laughs> uh, 21 does hit. Seven bludgeoning damage. And again, 24. Jesus Ooh, Christ. Another, another seven. seven bludgeoning oh, damage. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so Lynn, just I would like to pay you to roll anytime I need to play a monk again, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can do that for you. But Tonk just finally like Tonk is like doing the head shake back and forth, like, I don't wanna fight. Damn. Just goes in doom 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 doom. Oh yeah, you really rough him up. He's he's got like already the swelling on his eyes and his cheeks is starting to give way and he's trickling a little blood from the nose. Like, you made me do this! Yeah, probably is exactly what Tonk is yelling while <laughs> while punching the guy. <laughs> I didn't want to fight! And, uh, that is my turn. Okay, that'll bring us to Ritzel. Looks like your dance card is full. Bonus action, cunning action, disengage. Okay, you're gonna disengage. Running... Running up oh. with my dagger to stab this werewolf wizard in the gut again. Stab you. Oh, he lo he looks back over at you. Snarla! All right. And with my silvered dagger, I attack with a 15. Oh, my. Uh, she is going to bring her hand up and arcane runes flare. She's going to cast shield. Cool. And uh, your attack bounce it bounces off her shield. Ting. Uh, as I am a rogue and I do not have multi-attack, that would be a bonus action, which I already used. Do you have a light uh, weapon? I, uh, my bonus action was to disengage, so I oh, can't. Oh, that's right. Okay, my bad. Although I did mean to ask Connor. Um, yeah. One thing I meant to ask you, can I use the cane, like kind of like the hilt for the, or like the uh, sheath for this dagger as a club? Sure. Yeah, because that that it does, that is considered a light weapon. So uh, I cannot use it this turn, as I've already used my bonus action. But yeah. Uh, as he seems very defensive of Snarla, I will get into a position. Yeah, no, there is no good position here to defend against him if he decides to turn on me. So uh, that's that's just where Ritzel ends up, and and that's my turn. I'll bring us to Anura. Get get the brap ready, uh, Connor. I can, <laughs> okay. I can I can I can oh can can you let me in the room? I can get there with my thirty feet of climb, and I am going to web 
web this uh, veteran. Oh no. Oof. A seven Aww. does not hit, unfortunately. No! Damn so as, as you flex your muscles and. <laughs> oh web. god, no! Perfect. Why? Yes! Spider's <laughs> down light. It... He, he sort of. Morgan. He sort of. Like. He, he sort of swings I mean, his sword sees, and cuts the web off. He sees a giant he... fuck off spider on the ceiling. Yeah, and he's very defensive about that, and he, he cuts the web in half right as it comes towards him and it finds no purchase. Alright, that's all I can uh, do. The best wow. thing about that noise is it was to a miss. I know. <laughs> like it just came out like one big soppy glob that didn't hit anything. Ew, 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 worse, 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 worse. <laughs> Estic, it is now your turn. I'm not a fan of anything that just happened. <laughs> I'm very <laughs> sorry. Am I, uh, am I still on fire? Uh, you are still on fire, as a matter of fact. Oh, God. Okay. So, if I roll to put myself out, that's That'll an action. action. Standing oh. up takes half my movement. I'm sorry, can, can I roll a d6 to see how long that recharges? Sure. Two turns. Don't get the recharge. Oh, well, you do get the recharge. Oh. Wait. Oh. No, Wait, recharge ability is no. recharge on a five or a six, so you just lose. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, okay. That's okay. Okay, so I've got 15 feet of movement. I, I can't get in. Would you move me to the that doors square? are not working like I wanted to. I'm very sorry about that, but there you are. It's it's a relatively new program. I don't think we can blame too much on I'll, that. I'll have to I'll have to look in and see why that is, but uh, yes. Okay, right. I'm here. Um, gonna save my no. Yes, I'm gonna save my bonus action. That's, it's not. There's no point. So that's my turn. Okay. Bring us to Snarla. It uh, should be fun. Snarla looks at you. She. <laughs> Uh, roars and gets in your face. Uh, that is not the sheet I wanted to open. There we go. Uh, and she literally back into a corner here is going to... Uh, uh, I cornered a wolf. Not the best choice, but... <laughs> is going to lash out with her claws at you. Uh, a 19 will hit, I'm sure. It will. I would like to request that that not happen. Okay. Now, this is weird. So I'm going to copy paste this once again so you can read this. Mm -hmm. Cloud Rune. Once for short rests, when you or a creature you see within 30 feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use a reaction to choose a different creature other than the attacker within 30 feet of you to become the target of the attack instead. Using so, the same role. It does not say the two need to be next to each other, just any other creature within 30 feet of me. So I think the implication is you create like this little rune that like teleports the attack to something within 30 feet. And I'm trying to figure out how that makes sense with claws, but either way, she's hitting her husband. Oh. Use your reaction to choose a different creature other than the attacker within 30 feet of you to become the target of attack instead using the same roll. Uh, well, a 19 does hit him. Oh, oh. No. Yeah, Ritzel just flinches. <laughs> what happened? Way to go. Uh, but it doesn't say it teleports her to him. Yeah, I don't yeah, think no, it's, it does. It's, it's, I think it's just, it just the attack. transfers the like the, the effect of the attack, essentially. So would she it, doesn't move. If if he becomes like, the new target, wouldn't she just be out of range to make the that's attack? What I'm, that's I, what I'm the, thinking. The, the, way, the way I'm imagining this works is it's like a little, like, like some sort of extra-dimensional rift. She tries to strike through it, and like some hole opens in reality, and the claws go through and attack him or something. Yeah, that's what yeah. it reads like to me. Because I don't think it moves her, and it just yeah. says that the other creature the needs to be within thirty feet of me. The rules written on this is really odd. 
I'll just go yeah. ahead and let it go through. Um, so yeah, 19 does hit him, and he is going to be taking some damage here. Um, he'll be taking... Runes are very powerful. Claws. Yeah, and you've blown most of them. <laughs> I actually know. Encounters. I actually oh. still have quite a few runes left. <laughs> oh no, buddy. Oh no. Oh no, buddy. buddy. Oh no, what buddy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to take nine slashing damage. Oh. I know he's trying to kill us, but still. Mm. Fuck this guy. Where Fuck him, he's getting me a bunch. This, this is like when Monty was trying to be nice to that hellhound. <laughs> that sounds like, yeah. Yeah but, at yeah, but at least that's a dog. Is I, it? I mean, yeah, but yes, this, okay, it this, yeah. Lady, this lady's only half a dog. He reels oh, back. Okay. Whoa, now, he, hold on. He reels back, and uh, you you see her eyes widen, and she goes, Book it! Bucket. I'm fine. I heard bucket. <laughs> yeah, I heard uh, bucket too. She said the name Burkett. Ah, oh, okay. Is that B U R K E T? Yes. Uh, and she looks yeah. at you again, Ritzel, and her her lips peel back from her mouth, and she goes back with a with a bite towards you. He shrugs. <laughs> I always mm. knew it would come to this. Ladies can't resist it, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, that is a 20 win to hit you. Oh god That damn will it. in fact hit me. Okay. You're I gonna take. So hard. I got so far. But in the end, she had multi attack in werewolf form. <laughs> well, it, that wasn't the problem. It's the fact well, that she keeps hitting. <laughs> good news. Yeah. Roll low, uh, damn it. Good news. Good news. Uh, you only take six damage. Bad news. Bad news. Make a constitution saving throw. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Ho, ho. What? Come on, buddy. These are not great for me. That's a oh, oh, my natural god. one. Oh. oh, my god. Ritzel. You feel as this bite sinks into your shoulder, something deep and feral begins to blossom inside of you. Oh no. You've contracted lycanthropy. <gasps> well. Are you kidding me? I'm definitely oh. going to need, I'm gonna need that patch of land now. <laughs> oh. if, all, if only for the, if only for hunting. We have a, a where gobbo? We now have a where gobbo. gobbo. Oh my god. Ritzel vocal vocal plicks. Vulpa nope. vocal vo plicks? No, wait, no, that would no, that's be if I were a fox. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm a very small wolf, so kind of. Might we'll, as well be. We'll figure out what that means in a bit. Oh my I guess. god. How could uh, but that will be the end of Snarla's turn. For anybody wondering what a good natural one looks like. I mean, good is a matter of opinion, right? It's a matter of opinion. There's no full moon down here. What, what's going to happen? I mean, the a moon lot. still exists even if you can't see it. Yeah. yeah. But I need to be hit by its light. You know, I, Goku doesn't turn into the Ozuru if he's just sitting in a cave. But that's but a monkey, Lanny! He's a werewolf. Sure, he's a let's monkey. go with that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure out what this means later. <laughs> you got to cut off his tail. That's not how it works. Nope. Ritzel, where's your tail? The instructo <laughs> disc. And it's now the veteran's turn. Oh boy. Uh, seeing as how he, uh, this large, much more imposing individual is <laughs> taking up his space, he's going to try and deal with you first. Okay. Ew. Long sword attack towards you, Tonk. I am going to... Assume. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, I would have used Uncanny Dodge, so I should have only taken okay. three damage. All right, three damage. I'll fix that. Um, da, da, da. That will be a 18 to hit you. Oh, absolutely it hits me. All righty. Hey, I'll it. You take. 
Ooh, 12 slashing damage. Ooh. He's going to follow up with another one. Cease. Uh, another 18. Oh my god. It's 19 this time, actually. For uh, pathetic, five slashing damage. Okay, so it was a total of how much? 17? 17? Okay, it was 17. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Ooch. Yow. Okay. That hurt a lot. That's not all you've got time for, though. So he is just going to end his turn there. Griggle, you're up. Okay. I am going to use what I can of my uh, water skin to douse my exposed flesh in hopes that that helps to any degree. Um, And I am going to try and dash across uh, with, with 60 feet of movement to get to the other side. All right, you dash. Make an acrobatics check. Okay. Natural twenty. Oh my God! Wow. Thank the heavens. I I I'm, you, I'm hanging on. You absolutely managed to cross this chasm of fire. Uh. And because you doused yourself with water beforehand, you do not appear to have any fire sticking to you. Ooh. And you only take. Three fire damage. Hey, I'm okay with that. That is all my movement. The Um, whole party sans uh, one donkey is now across the fire. (laughs) Hey, quick, quick. Can I? Hang on. Oh. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, my God. Connor, would I be able to make it to the doorway just so I can see in? Um, Or is that that going to be too much different? Move from... Yeah, I was I, here. I would. I. I think just crossing the fire was was most of your. Actually, you rolled a natural twenty, so let's go ahead and just say that you can get up to the door. Okay. Yay! Yay! So I see all this madness happening. Um, what? <laughs> what? What just happened? Like, am I? What? Who am I you, seeing getting beaten worse? Ritz, Ritz, you, Ritzel is in the jaws of a werewolf, kind of clinging to life right now. Um, okay. Uh, uh, Tonk has been slashed by a sword several times and uh, is also not looking so hot. Um, well, singed, but yeah. Ha! Hot, I get it. All right, well, <laughs> I can't maneuver. Um, well, I think the I, I think naturally the werewolf's going to be the bigger problem just on the surface level. So, um, come on. So I'm going to send another zombified eyeball clutching hand over to Snarla. You used your action to dash though, didn't you? Oh, I'm sorry. You're correct. You're correct. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm good. Uh, boom. Sorry about then that. I'll, then I'll flip her right. off. Tom, I will <laughs> flip her the bird. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Tonk will continue the punchies. Cause that's the best thing we've got going right continue now. Continue the punchies. Punchy, oh. natural twenty oh. to hit. Oh my 28. god! Oh my that's god! That's gonna max be damage. Eleven bludgeoning. That, you with max six that with is three die. Seventeen damage. Seventeen. That's, oh my god! So I, yeah. You hit. You rolled max on everything you just. Yeah, did. that's yeah. nice. Uh, did astral that is the best tabletop roll. The I'm having possible palpitations. <laughs> that's, that's that's four. That's four greens in a row. Connor, we're gonna have to have I... Monty. <laughs> <laughs> what are we gonna do on the bed, so, Astral Tabletop? No! <laughs> Whatever no. I want, you, I rolled a net 20. You lean your hand back and you cock him in the face. How many teeth go flying? All of them. Oh! His, oh! His, his, all of them. You hear his lower jaw buckle underneath your fist followed by his neck cracking. It's a very audible sound. And Snarla looks up, unlatches her jaw from Ritzel, and mumbles, Rickard. Looks like he just kicked one. (laughs) Oh my god. Nice. Oh. (laughs) 
Holy um, shit. <laughs> because uh, you were engaged with Ritzel, Tonk can move forward, correct? That is true. Tonk is immediately just going to rush up to Snarla and punch her in the face. Okay. Boop her in the snoop. 13 to hit. Uh, she is going to raise her hand once more, and that same flash of white arcane runes is going to bounce her fist back. She's going to cast shield again. Uh, how, long does she, how long does the uh, AC boost from shield last? Does it last until, until their turn? the start of her next turn. God damn that move. Good ass spell. It's really good when you it use is. it as a player. It is. <laughs> Not mm -hmm. when the enemies use it. And that's going to be it for me. Alrighty. Ritzel, Ritzel, Plix. So Ritzel, Plix. Uh, so I see there's like a small gap between her and that wall there. Is that a space that I can occupy? Uh, it's not As big a small enough for you to occupy. It's not big enough for you to occupy it. Um... Right. I can't occupy that one, gotcha. Um, um, Caitlin, in your turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I wasn't reading uh, my page. Actually, you're small. You could probably, you could probably occupy right, that so space. I, 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 can, I can fit up here. Yeah, there you're we a small go. I'll, I'll, creature. I'll, I'll, as, as she's distracted by the punch. Also, and the... wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Waiting. Uh, well, let's just... Let's don't and say you did. Don't don't physically move there. Okay. I'm I'm worried about the dynamic oh, lighting. Is all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it, 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 right it, there. it didn't seem to shift it, but I'll I'll sit there regardless. We'll okay. we'll pretend I'm there. Um, just to get that flank on this goddamn shield. Sure. All right. So with that, how do I activate? Now. Oh. Uh, so how do I? At the top of your list, you'll uh, at the top of your sheet, you'll see a Beyond Twenty icon. You can click that, and it'll say "Roll with advantage or disadvantage or instead of, or not not advantage." So wait, what are you trying to do? What I'm trying to say? A a activate roll with advantage. So yeah, on oh, D &D you get plus Beyond. two. You get plus two. With, oh, is it just uh, plus two? Yeah, yeah that's our whole. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, so just add two to this, I guess. Yeah. Shep Basil, nineteen. That will hit her. Oh. All right, so with my silver dagger, uh, oh. that is seven piercing plus eight sneak attack. Not the best rolls on any of those, but it's silver. 15 damage okay. is awesome. So. Uh, it's and silver, that means she does take this damage. She takes that damage. Um, and then I will follow up by trying to, like, smack my the cane into her knees with my offhand. Smack my bitch up. Oh. Okay. Oh. I mean, she's a female wolf. And Kathwacky, that's a 15. Probably won't that hit with shield. Will not hit, just barely. Oh. Uh, the, the spectral shield will just <clears throat> bounce off. And that was my bonus action, my action, and my move. So that is Ritzel Vixel Plixis turn. Blah, blah. All right. Anera. How still, high is still, the ceiling? Ceiling in here is uh, a little bit higher. It's probably about 15 feet up. If I drop down, would I take damage at all? You would shatter into pieces like a real tarantula. No. <laughs> oh my god. You're, what you'd, the be, fuck? you'd be fine. Your, your ass explodes. You have no! legs. It already don't do did, it, Connor. Though. Don't you don't you fucking push that button. <laughs> I, I don't have the web, it didn't recharge. So this might seem bad, but y you'll see. So I'm actually gonna drop down, revert back to a Nura form. <laughs> So switch that token out. Is that a bonus action to end, or is it free action? I I don't know. I think dropping wild shape is. Let me look. Let me look. Dropping wild shape. You can stay in this year. Uh. Does dropping wild shape? One second. <clears throat> should be in the description of Wild Shape. Yeah, yeah I'm so. looking, I'm looking. It says, you can stay in B-Shape for four hours before reverting back to normal form. And it has parentheses or as a bonus action earlier if you fall unconscious. So it's a bonus action. So it's a bonus action. 
Okay. God damn it, I don't wanna... I don't... I... Hmm. Hmm. Uh... Alright, in For that case... Worth, I do go after you. So. I wanna start healing is the thing. Um... That's my only... Uh... I'll just hit the floor and then just run over and bite this bitch. Okay. No. You're gonna bite her. Yep. Give her a bite. <laughs> spider bite. I hurt. Yep. Yep. And let that spider bite. bite you. 14? A 14 will just barely not hit her. Oh. Uh, is still up. Damn. Okay. This bitch right here, am I right? Yep. This bitch. All right. I'll take it to Estic. All right. Stop biting my friend. And I'm going to glaive her. Glaive? Glaive to meet you. Oh, my God. Ten. Ten does gonna, not hit her base AC. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and swing that one a second time. With a 22. That's that will better. definitely hit her. That is 10 glaive damage, slashing damage. It is a magical item. As each of you are, as notably as each of you are hitting her with these with these different attacks, uh, you just see her, it's almost as if none of it is registering to her. She's just looking at the man's corpse. Uh, oh. And finally, she doesn't even see it coming. As, uh, how do you, how do you end her? No. Well, since no. I last saw her biting, I'm going to behead her. <gasps> so now she can't bite anyone anymore. Her sad, expressioned head flies off of her shoulders and onto the onto the little desk over here, this little bookshelf. And gently rolls off and over next to the corpse of the man. And with that... Don't bite anyone again, he says to the head. Okay. Combat is oh. over. Can can I drop Wild Shape? If you want to. No. <laughs> okay. Ritzel bleeding like... Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, as... As... Griggle, as you walk into the room... Mm -hmm. <sighs> of course... Oh my well, god. Literally on its last round, so. so I told you if we just waited. <laughs> you, you just you just hear from the other end clip clop clip clop. Clip, clop. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's <Wow>. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Well, it seems here yeah, I missed the party. So Anura will drop um the, the wild shape and be like, everyone, gather round. Uh, I'm going to do some some fun stuff. I'm gonna uh, sell. Oh god, that's a lot of text. Uh, I'm gonna do the unicorn spirit, but it's a unifrog. All right, frog with a horn. I love it. And so then, a, uh, the spirit of a frog with a horn appears. Oh, yep. also, let me let me go ahead and just. Yeah. <laughs> and then I will cast ca cast. Uh, Cure wounds on Rixel because he took the most damage, I believe. Yeah, that's appreciated. I definitely did. <laughs> Ritzel, so, you don't feel so good. So seven hit points, and then everybody in that thirty foot aura of the frog gets eight hit points back. Ooh. Do I get an additional eight hit points from that? Yes. Okay, thank you. Ah. Oh. All right, back to full. Still feel like sinking my teeth into something, but that could just be me hunger. I'm oh, gonna. What? I'm going to start looting this lycanthra body. Wait, hold okay. on, hang on, stop, don't move, one second. And I'm gonna fumble about in my pockets for a while before finding a potion of greater healing. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use one of those. Can I? Uh, a quick, quick. Uh, wait, before wait. you do that, just, just a quick suggestion. Why don't we don't just take? Why don't we just take a rest? Oh no, yeah, we, we need a rest. But he look, he was in the jaws of a wolf. I think he can use this. 
Uh, honestly, after that magical bit of healing, a little rest should do me fine. But let's see what she had on her. I mean, uh, also, uh, Ritzel kind of like snaps his fingers, and on the floor he starts carving some words. Here lies buckets and snarls. <laughs> oh. Tongue. Okay, you etch the words into the stone next to the uh, corpseless head and uh, the body of Burkett. All right, rest in pieces, Bucket. Now, <laughs> now I go looting. Tonk, right, as you go like... looting. Uh, you find a pair of wedding rings, love letters, and. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you think this was bad, just wait. You think yeah, this is brother. bad? Just wait till I'm gonna do. As oh. you, as you sort of. Um, Pull back some of her outer robes. Uh, you reach in and you pull out a book. Or you see a book. Ooh, fancy little book there. Probably got all magic sorts of magical goo gars in it. Goo gars. I love it. Can you read it? Can I read it? You're not a barbarian. You certainly can. So you grab the book? I do grab the book. Okay. As you do, uh... Red runes begin to ignite on the book's surface. Oh, oh no. shit. That's probably not a good thing, I'm guessing. I'm gonna step away. Make a dexterity saving throw, all loop. of you. Uh, no! You know, I'm yeah. still concentrating on that, so Tonk and Ritzel have advantage. That's true. We have, I have uh. And evasion! We have. I forget what it does, but. Ooh, big 13. That's a 16 for Estic. 22! Still trying three. to figure out how to do the advantage thing. I'll have to figure that out later. Yeah. So my, with advantage would be 25. Thank okay. God for advantage. Yep, thank goodness for advantage. Jesus. Okay. Don't, don't, need, don't need two saving throws to be natural ones. <laughs> what was the, oh, really what is it? Kaboom! <laughs> what was, what was the 13 year old earlier? Huh? Sorry, what was it? There's a there's a roll up here that says thirteen. Oh, what is that? Oh, I, I that was me trying to figure out how to turn shit on. Uh, wow. Wait. Oh yeah, that is weird. Why did that roll that time? I was just clicking oh. through shit. Uh -huh. Well, if we want to count that, then it would be thirteen instead of the twenty-five. I'll, I'll go let ahead you and say you that. got that the twenty-five. That's fine. It's been a uh, hard day. So I believe. <laughs> Griggle and Anura mm -hmm. are the only ones who fail, mm -hmm. which is great. Uh, so, what happens as it goes off exactly? The runes sort of burn brighter and brighter, and then a massive fireball envelops all of you. So, uh, Ritzel looks at it. Oh shit, that's not good! Throws it in the air back towards Endura and Griggle. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I it's the only way I can explain us not getting hit, but you guys getting hit. Yeah, no, it Just works. Had to slow Fuck. on the throw there, Spider-Man. How much damage is it? Oh no. How much damage? What do you mean, oh no, Connor? Uh, everybody who succeeded takes 12 fire damage. <gasps> uh, I take zero with evasion, I think. Okay. Everybody who failed takes 24 fire damage. Yeah, that's true. As the glyph uh, of warding goes off. Uh, Tonk, do you have evasion too? I think monks get that. Oh, you know? Tonk the monk. Where would I should find be? That? It should be under features and traits. Features and traits. Features. Although I can't remember at what level monks get it. Monks. I. I think it's around I, this level. Eight. Yeah, something I think like it's level that. Seven. Defense. So, upon burning to a crisp, can the the spirit totem last for a minute? Can I cast another cure wounds? And... Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast cure wounds on myself. Seven, and then everybody everybody gets eight back. Uh -huh. I do have evasion. Nice to you. Yeah, so, right. so you don't take so you don't, so take, you don't any take any damage. damage. And I get cured for seven. Whoa. Can we uh, please eight. stop rooting around in things? This person knows it's gonna blow up like that. It's very rude. 
It's called just being careful. As the um, as the book does hit the floor, it sort of smolders a little bit, but doesn't appear terribly damaged. Hey, it's 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 still a book. Hey, book didn't get hit. I'm gonna open I this continue, door. I, I continue rooting around in her shoes. No, please don't open the door. <laughs> that that is all you find on her person. That's all she had, man. What a doesn't even have that crow that she has on her shoulder. The what? Uh, oh. <laughs> the picture of her has a crow. <laughs> that's, that's a placeholder. No, I know, I know. have a crow. I was hoping for the crow. You did not find Just a crow. Just a little nibble. You, you do have her find a book. All right, well, if anybody knows how to make that thing not explode, it's um, uh, probably worth something. None of these, these buggers have a thousand gold on them. God damn. Wait, can books explode twice? Hey, you feel free to check, my friend. Hey, Connor. Feel free to check. Yeah. What kind of what kind of door is this? Uh, it is a door that is similar to the one you just came in from. Is it locked? It is not locked. Uh, just in the background, I'm gonna go collect the dagger that I tossed through the uh, slot. Okay. You collect your dagger. Is there anything else in this like bottom section of the room? Tonk's gonna. No, not really. Okay. Like, inspect more thoroughly Birkin. Uh, you inspect Birkin. Yeah. Uh, Birkin. go ahead and roll an investigation check. Okay. Uh, four. Wow. Some night dude. <laughs> she. Uh, they Tonk now. looks at their hands and uh, <laughs> which are covered in Birkett's blood. Why does this happen every time? As Ritzel's walking back from gathering the dagger. Sometimes people just don't like people of our persuasion. And he hands you a rag to wipe your hands off with. Don't let their blood stain you for too long. And don't let it linger on your mind too much. Some finds it's a uh, Necessary part of business, and I'm gonna go rooting around through his shit. All right, hey, uh, make hey, Connor. An... Yes, uh, Ritzel, just Never make mind. an investigation. Go for it. Yes, sir. Griggle. Thirteen. Griggle. Okay. Uh, was there a keyhole to look into the room? Uh, it doesn't look like this has a lock on it. In that case, I will open it slowly. Okay. And, and as long as nothing, as nothing goes off on me, I'll slowly make my way into the room to see if there's anything okay. of value. If you can't make your way into the room, I'll drag you in there. Uh, uh, Ritzel, unlike, stop. unlike Snarla, you find absolutely nothing on this guy aside from the armor and swords that he has. Armor and swords, uh, swords a long sword I and a short sword, meant for something much larger than what I am. Uh, well, the short sword would act as a regular sword for me, I guess, but... Yeah. A and stick might want the long sword. Griggle, as mm -hmm. you enter the room, uh, you notice immediately, unlike the room you just left, this place is beautifully decorated. The floor mm. is covered by fine rugs. The walls are covered in erotic tapestries and shimmering <laughs> curtains. The ceiling has an intricate mosaic depicting a summer sky dotted with fleecy clouds. In the northeast corner is a large, lavishly colored bed strewn with curtains and cushions. Uh, and next to it, on a low end table, is a buffet of sweetmeats, cakes, and other delicious looking comestibles. In What's the this northwest, up? In the northwest yeah. corner of the room, you see a brass bound oak chest. Uh, I am. Going to cast Detect Magic to see if this thing is trapped. <laughs> As you cast Detect Magic, uh, everything you see around you appears to be magical in some way. What school? Illusion. Yep. Oh, <laughs> oh, they were sad. trapped here. Um, what about that chest? Uh, the chest also appears to be magic. 
Is it also same, an illusion? Same illusion school, uh, same school of illusion? No, or? this appears to be, uh, what would this be? This is a spell. <laughs> Abjuration. Hmm. Hey, we've got a chest in here, but it's magically locked. Smack well, the book on it. Magically see uh, some kind of magic on it. Abjuration of sorts. <clears throat> well, you better not go digging into it. Like you said, don't want to do that. I'm just uh, going to squint at everyone else in the other room. <laughs> is there uh, is there anything Anura, special? Anura notices your squint and waves very friendly. Uh, as Gr Ritzel is like just kind of examining the short sword, uh, is there anything like special about it? Or is it just pretty much a bog standard short sword? It's a bog standard short sword. All right, into the donkey saddlebags it goes. Uh, uh, Estic is oh. going to pick up the book. Oh, okay. no. He does not believe that a book can explode twice. You pick oh, no. up the book and nothing happens. Oh, thank God. Cool. Looks like you got the touch, my friend. Am I able to read it? Uh, You can open it and look inside. Oh, that was the, that was the part when it started to blow up on me. Oh, no. Ritzel says nothing. <laughs> okay. well, can, I will... can, I, can I back up a bit seeing Estic grab the book? Sure. You're yeah. pretty far away already. But I, yeah, I'll, I'll open the book. You open the book and a bunch of words inside. Are they in a language that I can understand? They are in a language you understand, but the specific wording of it is way too complicated for you. It's in common, but there's... Roll an arcana check? I have advantage on that. Okay, roll a kind of with the bank. Because advantage. I'm a rune knight. Six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. this is way too complicated for you, Esther. You, know, you have no idea what this is all. That a is two and a three. Bullshit. A two and a three. Beautiful. I just wow. wanted to know what's in the book, man. Ugh. All right. Well, um, after a few moments of Estic flipping through the pages, you kind of, you see him put his finger and thumb to his chin as he starts nodding, going, mm, mm hmm I see. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Can, I can't. Connor. Fuck, I can't get in the door. <laughs> I can't, I can't get in the door. There, there we go. go. He's trapped. Uh, yes, uh, yes, an arrow. Would I know anything about lycanthropy and how it spreads? Yeah, Ritzel's Roll just kind of scratching, Ritzel's just kind of scratching his wound. Roll a nature check? Did I also nature or check? Or no, roll a medicine check. Ooh, I'm actually, Ooh. okay. All right. Can I also roll medicine check? 17. Sure. I didn't see it happen, so Eight. I'm screwed. <laughs> yeah. I, I was a spider, uh, but I saw it happen. Tonk, you're not terribly sure. You haven't seen many werewolves in your life. But Dog bite. Anura, Ouch. Anura, you... No, I like, I like that... grab, I like grab Ritzel's head and kind of look into his eye, like very ah. intently. You, like, as you look, as you look into his eye, you can see sort of like, as as uh, candlelight catches his eye, you see sort of that reddish refractive film in his pupil, like a like a dog almost. Uh, can't help you. You have bad mojo in you. I cast a spell magic, third level. You cast or a spell magic, third level. Would would it's would not would a, actually okay. before that would I know would I know that would work with the seventeen medicine, or would that be Arcana? Sure, I'll save you some heartache. You okay. know that you would know that the specific spell you cast would not be enough to oh shit remove mm. whatever is happening inside of him. Oh, um. I have a thing to do. Um, An Anura, Anura will run over, grab the werewolf head, run back over. Um, this, yeah, it's uh, it's spread to you. <laughs> oh God! I see. What's that mean exactly? Like, um, is it fatal? Am I in danger in any way? Wait, does that make him a wizard? <laughs> Well, 
I did, I did try to use that book, oh, and he didn't was... like it. I made oh. the... Yeah, R Rittle's I... eyes just open. I made the book explode, and he looks at his hands. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that makes you a wizard. <laughs> Estic is just gonna walk up to you. Anura, Anura looks to the hard camera. Estic is gonna walk up to you, close the book, and slowly press it into your hands. This is yours now. <laughs> God damn it. I'll be sure to use it wisely. I'll be sure to use it wisely. I pack it in with the donkey stuff. <laughs> Try not to. Try not to do that. Right. I'll, uh. Do my best not to, not, like, kind of, like, claw my hands and just, like, bare my teeth a little. Connor <laughs> nods, but she looks a little worried. Connor, I'd like to be a bastard, but not to my party. Okay. Uh, okay. So, I'm going to grab this headless wench because she attacks my party, and I'm rather pissed off at that. And I'm gonna just going to chuck it next to this man thing who was also beating up my party. Uh-huh. I'm going to cut a bit into my hand, pull out my vertebra whip, run it down, and just crack, crack. Get up, you two! And I'm going to cast Raise Dead at oh fourth my level. God. Oh, God. You're casting Raise Dead? Or not Raise Dead, Animate Dead, excuse me. It's okay. confusing. It's confusing. Cool. Uh, Ritz, Ritzel takes the head that was in Inura's hands and just kind of like plops it awkwardly on top of the It's It's body. on backwards. Oh my god! Like, I, I'm like sideways, like tilted. I would, I, I would like to opt in for um, skeletons if I could. I'm Ooh. not sure if I can. I don't know how that works. And I don't. I wasn't sure if if I could choose either zombies or skeletons, or if it has to be one or the other. I'll go ahead and just let you choose. So okay, I'll go for. I'll just remove the skin suit. Yeah, I'll so go for as, double skeleton. As you cast this, uh. So you're casting it on them both? Uh, when I do it at a level higher than third, uh, at fourth, I can do two additional targets. Okay. Up to two additional targets. As you cast it on them, the skin just sort of begins to slough off their bones. It blackens, and then almost like a, like a, well, what is it called? Like a, like a time lapse? Oh, uh, yeah. Begins to just oh, yeah. rapidly dissolve until nothing is left but uh, bloodied pale bone uh, and the notably more canine looking uh, skull um, rises to its feet. Skeleton of a lady werewolf. Where have I seen this before? Oh, death oh, to you, pod, eh? You. Well, you ain't you ain't <laughs> resting yet. Um, I'm going to have hang on, any, meeny, miny, you. I'm gonna have the headless woman go in and open that chest while we're all safe back here. Okay, let me just go ahead and and pop some skeletons. Pop some, I'm telling pop you, some boys, in for you. I know he's been really skeleton, helpful. and barely even human. Es Estic is kind of whispering to to uh, Ritzel. I'm telling you, I know he's been helpful, but that boy's got problems. <laughs> <laughs> that boy ain't right. I, I don't have problems. I just know what I'm about. Problems. Well, he's about problems. Here it's go. not really about problems. It's about creating problems, really, and creating there ways to deal with said problems. I bestow on you skeletons. Cool. Skeleton can't get through the door. <laughs> yeah. Well, the door is closed, so. Hunk Skeleton. is like. I need to. So I need to have a serious talk the with these doors. So, <laughs> let me go ahead and zoom the camera out here a little bit. I feel like Tonk is going to retire after this adventure. So yeah, you, Tonk. You, Tonk you, is like very shocked at everything that's happening. Very you upset. The, you order the skeleton I, I, to go over and open the chest. Is that what you're doing? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, as the as the sort of lightly clothed uh, in cloth bones sort of rattle over to the chest, it reaches down. It looks like it's it like it like crouches down, gets its bony little fingers underneath the thing, tries to lift up, but 
just can't get a purchase on it. Ah, uh, it's locked. Okay. Neither of these things had a key on them? No. Hmm. Corner a kid. Oh, wait, there it goes. Wait, wait, wait. Damn it. Door. <laughs> yeah. I can can't. You drag them? Can you I'm... drag them through the wall? Yeah. Oh, uh, wait, w wait. Uh, oh, there we go. Are you sure these aren't vampires? That's a dangerous road. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all vampires because we can't enter without being invited by the DM. Yeah. I am a werewolf, true. sir. I am Ritzel. Aye. There's a chest in there. I don't think it's rigged to blow or anything like that, but it's locked. I'm not sure if you're interested or not. I can see what I do. <laughs> I pull out my new spell book and. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pull out your book. Oh my god. And I walk into the room. Right. Or. I'll phase through the wall or something. <laughs> so, oh, there we go. Well, well. You walk into this beautifully furnished room. <clears throat> he looks he looks through the book for the proper incantation, immediately realizes this isn't going to work, closes it and goes to try to pick the lock. I'll, okay. I'll open the door just to just to poke my head out. It's still enchanted with some kind of ad 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 abjuration, so something like that. So be uh, careful. Let's see if I can fix this little lock here first, shall we? Would this be sleight of hands, or is there a way for me to use thieves' uh, tools? You can wear in here. Thieves' tools on you. I think it's just the. Just it's not in my. Back. It's not in my actions thing, so I'm not sure it's how. It's in to your use inventory, it. right? Ah, inventory. Um, I or... believe. No, no, no. Your your tools. Okay, so Lenny, if you go to the bottom left, there's a box that says armor, weapons, tools, languages. You should have tools there. I see. Oh, okay, here we go. Tools, thieves' tools. Beyond twenty. Oh, that's yeah, what that no. that's what that gives me. It doesn't roll. Oh well, um, dang. Okay. I'll just go ahead and say it's it's your what is it? Oh, wait, here we go. Here. Hold on. I, I have a use tool thing now. Here we oh. go. Let's try that. Oh. Uh, wait. Uh. Select ability, dexterity, uh. yeah. proficiency with yeah. proficiency. Uh huh. Uh, would I have expertise in this or is this just proficiency? Because no. I do I do just have expertise in sleight of hand. Okay. Kapla, twenty one. Hey. Oh. That's good. Uh, Ritzel, you are very good at picking locks, but uh, your lockpick sort of things. begins to sizzle as it enters this lock, and uh, you, you're you just about to get it, and you know that your lockpick's are gonna, gonna break if you hold it in there any longer, and you just pull it back out. Okay, that thing's a bit hot. Hmm. We displace. Uh, I go back to looking at the book. Can I do an Arcana check? Sure. <laughs> Arcana All right. check. Uh, let's see if I can use my newly found wizard abilities. That's a 20. Oh my, oh my god. god. <laughs> you're a wizard, well, Gritzel. It's a, ni a 19 you're, on the die. <laughs> you're, you're more linguistically capable than Aztec, so you How dare you! Read through it a little bit, and you <laughs> can identify this as a wizard spell book. It's in oh, fact right. a spell book. Yeah. Does it help me at all with what I'm dealing with here? No. You're not a wizard. I'm wish it to existence. <laughs> I, I, I was simply saying, like, if, if I'm looking through this could I potentially, like, with that 20, could I potentially recognize if there was a spell in this book that did this? Um... With the 20, I think you could put two and two together and learn that this is an arcane lock. Alright, now I don't know how to diffuse that, but I now have that information. By... That would take the... By going in with your... Battle. By going in with your thieves' tools, you know that it is theoretically possible to break it open. It's just very difficult. All right. You're, you're still alive in there. Uh, yeah, very much so. And I can tell by flipping through this book with my newly acquired wizard, radioactive wizard bite, that, uh... <laughs> What's radioactive? It's like when you get bitten by something and it gives you radios. Which is a thing where you think really good about things like wizards, and... Oh, I've yeah, had that for years. Right? Sure. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry we're so stupid. A miles away. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this, this thing's here is a magic lock. Uh, I might be able to pop it, but it's a little tricksy. 
Anybody Wait. find a key for this? Wait a minute. Wait, Anura, you can turn magic stuff off, right? Uh, she she thinks for a moment and then she nods. Yeah. Yes. What if you turn off the treasure chest? I I can try. Try forcing it out, Bing. I can't seem to get through the doorway. Oh, there we oh, go. There you have to try go. like four times. You have to be radioactive. Um, Just think real good. <laughs> think happy thoughts. Yeah, ugh, it's a third level spell slot though. Do I wanna? Mm. I, I have mm. other options for, we did uh, say for breaking we were into about this thing. To rest. I don't get spell slots back on a short rest. Yeah, not not on a short yeah. rest though. Well, I think yeah. we might need a long rest. I don't no, think we want to burn one. Yeah, we haven't even, we haven't even gotten one, we haven't even gotten one of the artifacts well, yet. How long have we been in here, Connor? At this point, I'd say you've been in here for about an hour or so. Would you pick it around? Um, oh. Yeah, probably about an hour. So, yeah, 23 like, remaining. a long rest is eight hours. That would still give us 15 hours afterwards. But we don't yeah, have, but, yeah, I would we, ask, have, we have three items to gain. I would also ask we not, because we need that for spell slots back big time. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Not yet. I I, I want to get further before we do a long rest. We're way too early into we, this. We have, the thing is, we have a room to do a long rest if we need to, theoretically speaking. Yeah. Well, that's so that's good to know. I it because we're here, but yeah, we, we can, can come, come back. back here. You say that. <laughs> True. Two facts, though. I'm stuck. Right, so, um... Trying to get back Tonk, out. while you're looking while you're looking around, do you find any like keys anywhere? Just like magic keys? Yeah, uh, I'm I'm searching around as well. There's gonna be an investigation. I do. Okay. Or I guess a perception. A perception. Uh, perception is way. Uh, they're the same, so it's fine. Six. Uh, Rizzo got twenty four for perception. Just kind of glancing around, looking for shit. Yeah. Yeah. Tonk. Mm -hmm. Rizzo. Yeah. You both find nothing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, are the sweet meats still there? I figured we could share that yeah, during yes, our short rest. I, weren't they an illusion, though? Didn't you say everything was an illusion in there? Everything in this room was an illusion except for the chest. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So grabs, like, Hologram. tired, covered in blood, still singed, tries to reach towards sweet meat, hand just phases through. Shoulders oh no, it's, it's physical. You touch it. Oh! oh! It, it just might not be what you think it is. Yeah. Might be a rat. It takes a sniff. <laughs> you sniff it. And, uh... What you thought was some sort of sweet bread turns out to just be kind of stale, regular bread. Ritzel, meanwhile, is still eats it. <laughs> Ritzel, meanwhile, is taking a hammer and a crowbar and just kind of like pounding it oh. into the seam of the chest. He as a matter of fact. Oh. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, as a matter of fact, it is so somewhat stale, regular bread. Yep. Tastes like bread. That's <laughs> uh, bread. So as, as he gets the, uh, the crowbar into the seam, he looks over to Tonk. Hey, mom coming over here giving this a smack for me. Reinvigorated with stale bread, Tonk walks towards <laughs> the chest. Also, after the chest thing, I got I got a thing. Uh, so, I, so, so, I, so I just want to give you basically, like, with assistance, advantage on trying to force this damn thing open. Okay. Tonk will do what Tonk do best. Tonk will bonk the chest. Okay, hey, that rhymed. That's a good 20. Rhyme. Oh, uh, it, it, it would be... Or, I think this would be athletics, right? Oh, JK. Tonk did not do no. that. This Tonk is, does athletic. Athletics check. Which is a 24. With, with, with advantage. advantage. Go ahead and roll that with again advantage. in case you get a higher so one. Tonk will do it again, which is 17. 24. 24. You were so 24. close. Ah! No! As the no! arcane lock My. sort of hisses and, and mm. crackles, uh, and it strains underneath your strength, but it just barely manages to hang on. The wood actually begins to splinter a little bit on the chest. Jesus. Oh, we're so close on this one! Can I try 
try it again. I was about to say, let me let me come in for a hot second. Wait, 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 wait. I can't get in. I'll get no fucking four times. Okay, oh, no, 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 Connor, Connor, oh, no, 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 Connor, 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 leave me alone. Just leave me alone for a second. Uh -huh. I'm just going to. Okay, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna pat Tonk on 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 the back. I believe in you. Uh, I will give you. I will give you guidance, and I will walk back out. <laughs> All right. You, so, so, so you got it from over here. Athletics with advantage plus a D four. Plus right? a D four. Yeah, it's one D four. So athletics. Oh, yeah. 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 So all you needed was the, the belief. The lock was already pretty well warmed up beforehand, uh, and you just barely managed to pink, and the sort of bluish energy erupts from the lock uh, as it falls Oof. to the ground and the chest yawns open as the no. the wood is now pretty destroyed looking actually <laughs> it's not the uh, wood we were looking for j just so you know griggles whatever or grig uh griggle whenever you came in and patted me on the back and said i believe in you tonks fur like bristles in a way that would denote blushing. Oh, <laughs> ain't that sweet? Yeah. Hey, oh. God, I knew you got that in you. Now, what's this thing got in it? Damn it! Tuck just, Don't Tuck worry. just walks towards the wall and like leans ahead against it because that was a lot. <laughs> Indeed, <laughs> you're overheating. The contents of the chest are now yours. Um, as well, <laughs> uh, once you pop the lock, everybody outside the room, you hear a... <laughs> oh, as no. though it's inside the room, the, uh, see that the entirety of the room is now enveloped in a greenish-yellow cloud. Oh god! Oh, oh no. it farted! Uh, All of you to make Constitution saving throws. Everybody, or just those in the in room? the room? Everybody in the room. So Tonk oh, and no. Ritzel. So just 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 Tonk and Ritzel. Yeah. I okay. got um. I got a twenty. That's good. I got a six. Uh, That's oh, not no. as good. All right. Tonk, uh, what we got it. <laughs> You've got a you got a mouthful of bread and you're you're fine. You just you just shrug off whatever things happen. You look in the chest. Ritzel, you Hi. uh double over and begin retching and reeling as this stinking cloud emanates during the emanates throughout the room. You are poisoned. Oh, well, he's got that oh, wizard sickness. To look, at, to look at Ritzel. What's wrong? <laughs> That's been what's in the box. <laughs> Tonk just still having a tiny piece of bread, puts the last bit of the bread in mouth and kind of leans over the top of the chest. Are you okay. anime schoolgirling into the chest? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, I uh, am. I, I, I need anime schoolgirl Tonk. Anime schoolgirl Tonk <laughs> with the peering in the chest. Oh my god! Yeah. As you right, right, riding the bike through the cherry blossoms. <laughs> <laughs> As you lean down and look into the chest, uh, you see inside is 400 Electrum pieces. Oh, Who electrum? uses that? 400 Electrum, electrum pieces? pieces. What does that do? Do I know? It's, it's basically the it's step currency. between silver and gold. Oh. It's shitty currency. It's worthless. It's not <laughs> shitty. It's better than copper. I'm putting no one uses it. in my notes. <laughs> poop gold. Poop you gold. gave us poop, poop gold. gold. <laughs> it's, they're, they're worth five silver apiece. They are. Are they? It's yeah. like a half dollar. Okay, so poop gold worth five silver apiece. <laughs> I mean, you can also there, just There's, there's, your, a, place, there's a place currency. in your currency for 400. Yeah, you can just for I'm electron. aware of that, but yeah. I'm putting it in my notes as 400 poop gold. I'm, I'm right. just going to I'm just going to add this it is, into my inventory. This is important. You, I will let you, you also, add it. You also find 300 gold pieces. Ah, the good And one. I will take that one because Ritzo can't tell what the good stuff is. You said 300? 300 gold pieces. 
Ritzel's currently vomiting everywhere, so... Say. Oh, oh, fair. no. And, and, yeah. seven, and seven precious-looking gems. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. hang on. Uh, what? Let, let me just, for, for flavor's sake. Okay. Yeah, precious gems <gasps> are not a thing Just to because I want to show this off a little bit. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the fart. I'm ready, spaghetti. Oh, oh, God. God. You. Tonk is completely unfazed, dude. though. <laughs> how many, how many just, gems just like, exactly? Oh, I got a little green Seven. in here. Reminds me of the miasma of the swamp. Yeah, I'm, I've been I'm hanging afraid. around Anura. <laughs> what, what, so. what were you saying? Uh, there were seven gems, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know specifically, uh, you said they're precious, so like rubies, emeralds, diamonds? Rubies, emeralds, sapphire, stuff like that. No diamonds, specifically, though. Curses. Okay. Making sure. Uh, I'm just going to add a few rubies and emeralds and sapphires. You and I uh, will discuss how to split. Uh, I know, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just putting it in the inventory for right now. Got yeah. you. Specifically... Uh, together they would be to your eye worth around 1,300 gold pieces for all of them. Mm. Okay, okay 1,300 total. Uh, are you wow. all right there? What? Do it okay, mate. I think what? my wizard's well, jeans is coming out. Yeah, he's, well, he's got that wizard sickness. You might want to give him some space. Punk well. just picks up the chest under one arm. Picks up Ritzel by the it is scruff way with the too other. too big for you to pick up yeah. with one arm. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm thinking it's much smaller than it is. Uh, well, it scoops everything into like a sheet or whatever. Okay. Classic money sign on bag. <laughs> <laughs> and then picks up Ritzel and just saunters out slowly okay. and yeah. holds both in front of her. Uh, oh, front I got of them. your your cartoon money bag and yeah. Ritzel yeah. Wow. clicks. Wow, who's that? Was that Ritzel, who's just when the when the door opens, all of you just just get the foulest scent coming off of both of them. Is my mic working? Is what? Is, we couldn't is hear my you mic working. Bit. Oh, okay. Huh. I, was, I I just wanted to do a little thing while all that was going on. But did, all right. Did, uh, Griggle, you get a little tap on your shoulder. Yeah. Your uh, Anura looks a little worried. She points to the skeletons. You're not going to do that to any of us, are you? You're going to see a Grinch-like smile just oh. snake across his lips with a little bit of a fang sticking out. Lean forward and go, No, unless you give me a reason. Weak. I look forward to not giving you a re- Oh my god! I run up to one of the skeletons just horf in its ribcage. <laughs> I don't be the, puking on my skeletons. The skeleton of the of uh, the werewolf does not react. <laughs> I never <laughs> thought I would say these words. Don't vom in my skeleton. Oh my god. That's our raid message. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Does yeah. that mean what I think it means? <laughs> um. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. I can't. In my skeleton. <laughs> oh my All god. Right. You, 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 know, you don't need to inside Anura. She was a little bit perturbed by that answer, but she's not like. We've been, tra We've been traveling know, for a long time. I know. All right, know. people. Uh, What's the plan now? We've, we've got that other <laughs> door at the end of that other hallway. Let, 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 I, 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 let's take mm -hmm. just a short rest. Get, get, get some more stamina back. Pretty good to keep going. Vomits yeah. on the other skeleton. No. Right. I order. I order one of my skeletons to go pick up Ritzel and just put him down and like put him down. Him oh my god! No, oh, just get him. Get, just get him comfy somewhere. Oh, just right. lock up. No, he's just my get... master. I'll do it. <laughs> the skeleton. The skeleton sort of puts oh, a hand a on. from her back. Puts a hand on on Ritzel's. Uh... <laughs> On Rachel's shoulder, begins leading him back to the room. <laughs> no, 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 this way. <laughs> not in, not in the poo gas. Rachel's just gonna lay out on a table. 
<laughs> if you insist. Pong on his side. Completely unfazed. Does it smell uh, bad? Your poisoning only lasts for one minute, by the way. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Very painful oh minute. <laughs> also, did someone say something to me? Uh, no. I did not. All right. Uh, are, are we all in agreement to take just a bit of a short rest? I I'm okay with that. To get yeah, some health if back. If we don't, if we don't oh, want to take right. a long one, yeah. I can take ten minutes. Okay. Short rest is an hour. Uh, you but... will all take an hour to. Oh, that's take a short I'm rest. Okay. Where's the hit dice for short rest? Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. Where that is. Uh, let me go ahead and look. Oh, I think. Okay, yeah. There's a short rest function at the top of your sheet. You yeah, yeah. So... Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Right next yeah. to. Right oh, 20. I see. Yeah. Hey, that's really? cool. Okay, yeah. yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Where? Yeah. Roll right your five. It's, it's a... Bam. Five. Oh, that's cool. At the top of your D and D Beyond character sheet, there should be a little yeah. thing that says short rest. It has a little campfire emblem next to it. Ritz, and it will Ritzel actually is... reset your abilities that rely on short rests as well. Yeah, Ritz, Ritzel, Ritzel, Ritzel is back to full. It didn't it got mine. It I didn't... don't see it. It didn't do. Uh, it's it's at the, it's at the very top. You'll see beyond twenty share yeah. short rest long rest. Yeah, I did that, and I like clicked like take short rest, and it's like confirm, and I click confirm, and uh, yeah. j j just click the short rest thing, and you'll see down by your hit die. Just say roll hit die, and I think that should do it. Yeah, I if, the, if you roll the hit die, it'll take the heal. But if you don't roll that hit die, you you have to actually heal yourself manually. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Hang on, I need to do another hit die. If it'll but you can roll your hit die directly from the short rest oh, window. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I don't I see that at all. It, it's on the, like, pop-out sheet, right? Yeah, it's, a, it's a, at the very top. You'll see your character's name, and yeah. then, like, right over, you'll see, like, a bunch of red do rectangles. Something? Do you see something that looks like an anvil? Like no. a hammer and anvil, the top right corner of your sheet. Yeah, top, uh, very top right. I don't. Huh, weird. So you're not yeah. in edit mode. So let me go ahead and. I am not. Sheet. I opened my sheet directly from Astral. Same. So it doesn't give you the edit thing in mind. That's either. weird. I'm not seeing it either. Yeah, yeah. I, I opened mine directly uh, from Astral as well, so I don't know. I don't know. Huh. You're not allowed to rest, apparently. <laughs> Me. Mm -hmm. No rest for you. Well, thankfully, I couldn't figure out how to spend my key points either, so I have it <laughs> in my notes, so I guess they just are back now. Oh. There you go. Uh, oh, um, and... I, I, I think it's long rest for Monk to gain key points back. In your well, in your features and tra in your features and traits, you have your number of key points. Yes. Yeah, if you Well, down, I tried to do the little You'll see a little plus little minus thing. Features and traits. Oh wait. Uh, how do I? That actually, that actually might be why you aren't getting your long rest or short rest <laughs> options. Because oh. You, mm, you get more hit dice. You haven't decreased anything on well, your sheet, I, as far as I can when see. I, when I click it, it brings up the thing, and the only thing that's like clickable is the thing that, and it doesn't let me decrease any. What? Which is confusing. Yeah. I have to figure well, that I mean, out we later. Can, we can figure this out boxes. later. Yeah, we can figure it yeah, out yeah. later, yeah. Yeah. Also, you all get a D8 more hit dice. I don't need oh. a D8 Oh, more. okay. Because as part of a short rest, I can cook special food provided I have ingredients. Can I make kelpie sausage? Oh, oh, oh. It's, it's a plant. So uh, there's sausage. sausage. I, he getting sausages. You yeah. certainly can, uh, as you as you pull out your in your animal intestines. Where did those come from? Uh, you Don't you worry set about down it. you set down your sausage make you set down your meat grinder uh, and your hey. sausage maker. <laughs> Don't bolt them in specifically. You don't bolt them down. That's <laughs> sausage. All right. I think we all roll d8. One second. Let's see. I, I uh, genuinely at, don't need it, but... At the end of short rest, any creature who eats the food and spends one or more hit dice regains hit points equal to an extra 1d8. Mm-hmm. 
that's okay. Let me just roll that d8. And bap. Get three more hit points back. Oh my goodness. Okay. Every bit counts. Yeah. All right. I'm already back and looking fancy free. Yeah. You're free Chef fancy. feet. Chef feet. And as you enjoy some excellent raw kelpie sausages. <laughs> mm. Just like um, mom used to make. We can go cook it over fart gas. A very stinky room next to you and a previously on fire room on the other side. <sighs> Two shambling skeletons, former lovers, right next to each other. We'll go ahead and call the session here. Cool. Oh, man, wow. we're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to like, bye Austin. Bye Austin. Bye, Austin. Bye, Adios, bye, Austin. Austin. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're gonna have Maybe. to double time it if we want to finish this in time. Yeah. No. I'm worried. Oh. I mean, it, it, we don't know. It could be possible that all three items are in the same place. We what know they're yeah. not. Hours remain. Oh golly. You said we'll twenty-two be... hours. Twenty-two yeah. hours. We don't have. Remain. We don't have to acquire all of the items per se. We're just That's getting paid true. per item. That's true. Mm. That is that is true. That is true. I have a concern. <laughs> well, just I'm, a little, that I'm concern, a little worried about getting this. <laughs> that concern can wait for next time. <sighs> well, that was exciting. We got a were wizard with us now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm done horking up my guts. It's great. Ritzel Vixel sure is now a wear wizard. I'm sure that mm -hmm. won't come back and bite us. Oh, never. No. Not until we see a full moon. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Pun intended. I'm positive that there's no way this could go wrong. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, no. I believe in you. <laughs> Leaves room. <laughs> Lycanthro Lycanthropy is never led to something bad. <laughs> Although now I'll have to look up exactly, uh, let's see, potential class change to... Oh my well, god. Well, no, your class isn't oh, changing. Oh, no, you no, just I, have I, a disease, fam. You're fine. Oh, I, I I know, but I'm thinking, like, if there was such is such an advent, uh, I did recently acquire Tasha's Cauldron of Everything and the Berserker Wizard, or Berserker oh god, Barbarian. Yes. Mm. Yeah, Feral, yeah, Primal, Path of the Beast. Yeah... All of a sudden, so randomly. Cool. I was going to get a copy of Tasha's, but the only copy my local Barnes & Noble had had this giant, huh? like, dent in the corner, and, like, the the pages were actually damaged, and I was like... I went to my oh, local... Aw. Yeah, I, w I went to my local comic and game shop for it. Like, sick place. I absolutely love it. Madness Comic and Games for everybody, ah, anybody yes, in the I've Dallas area. Mm -hmm. I bought my comic from D&D Beyond. I also recommend Generation X. Where's that at? That is in, uh, where was that? Uh, like North Richmond Hills area? Yeah, I, I, I usually go to Madness because, like, if I ever yeah. book work at, like, Oak Ridge Ron, it's, like, right oh, yeah, in it's, between it's here closer. and there. It is closer. But I found out that uh, Generation X, this is, might mean nothing to you. I found out that Generation X is actually the uh, biggest supplier of Pokemon cards in the DFW area. No shit. Oh, so they get, like, massive stock from the Pokemon company when stuff gets released. Yeah, another Wait, fun no. session, Connor. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Connor. Yeah, yeah. I know we're all like Glad completely random conversation. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm like really curious about the werewolf wizard and her potential paladin lover like that. Hmm. Well, they're dead now, so. I know. I they're dead and raised. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah. got we, cast. You just got we cast. Tried. With, just got cast. Speak with dead. And we I tried, tried diplomacy. And... No, we did. We tried really hard. It's on now, admittedly, there. we didn't have to then storm their room, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, they wouldn't let us in, and we've got a mission. Yeah, it here. was rude. They could have had one of the items in that chest. They very much could have. Listen, if they didn't want to die, they should have killed us. Easy. They were clearly oh. hiding something. They were close, so we yeah. assumed they had one of the items because they yeah, were they... hiding something. They were close it's to on killing them. one. They were close to killing me anyway. Yeah, no, I was really worried. <laughs> I was like, well, no, oh. <laughs> both meat shields cannot get into this room right now. <laughs> you might be able to uh, find quite. out what their deal with what their deal is in a different session. But for now, Maybe. I think we'll go ahead and, and sign off for the evening. 
Caitlin, where can they find you, and what are you up to? You can find me all over the internet at Boobs McBalrog. Here on Twitch, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Boobs McBalrog with zeros instead of O's. I'm actually going to be able to get back to streaming soon, which is really Ooh. exciting. Uh, and I'll also have some fun announcements coming up soon. Um, again, if you're playing Cookie Run Kingdom and you want to play as Mala Sauce Cookie, that's me! I'm very, very excited to have gotten to be a real cookie. A very real cookie with very fiery powers. Spicy um, cookie. I'm a spicy lady. Also, I'm still working on uh, Kageki Shoujo. That's over on Funimation. That's coming out every Saturday. So please go watch that show. It's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I cried about a lot. Of, cried about <laughs> it a lot this week. And it's really good. Uh, I think that's it for me. Who's up next? Roiki. Hey, you Goomba. Where can I find you? Oh, boy. Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Kumba every Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. I have so many folklore fantasy Japan themed Gundam model kits to put together. I'll probably be putting one of those together this weekend. I uh, just beat Metroid Prime. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Still really good game. You gave it a um, 9.5 at the top of the session. He, he had time to think about session. it. He no, had time to I, think I said, said 8.5, didn't I? You said 9. You did. Well, I amend. Um... <laughs> I've got a really slick uh, new cultural analysis video coming out talking about uh, Shuten Doji from the Fate series. There's a lot of depth with this character that I wish uh, the game would have taken more advantage of, and we're going to dive into that because it's really cool to learn. Um, on that, I've, I've also got my second channel, uh, Gaiji Perspective. Next week, I'm going to be teaching y'all how... Uh, <laughs> how to how to tie the fat man clam as it was uh it's a it's a little obi trick that i've learned for people who are a bit plus sized and uh and your obi doesn't fit quite well so it's a little thing it's gonna be a lot of fun uh so yeah that's me i'm i'm getting back in the swing of things i just got off a uh, month-long break so yeah oh, wow. cool. all right mark allen jr where can they find you uh, you can find me on Twitter.com at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. And you can follow the adventures of my fat, sleepy cat bunny on Instagram at chonk for life Three episodes now of Remain are available in English on Funimation.com. I play Jojo Jima in the show, having a fantastic time being a gremlin. Um, please check it out if you get the chance. Two episodes are available for free, and the fourth episode uh, will be available for members this Saturday. The third episode should go up for free later that very same day. Tomorrow, here on Twitch, I will be playing a video game instead of opening Pokemon cards. I know it's weird, but that's what we're doing. Um, I don't know what we're playing yet. Might be something Pokemon related. Maybe Pokemon Snap or Pokemon Unite or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's going to be a fun, relaxing day where we all just hang and enjoy the day. Yay. That's it for me. I'll see everybody on Saturday for Ravenloft. Right on, Pharaoh. That's what me. What are you up to? Where can they find you? I am up to art and commissions and drawing on stream. That's that's kind of what I do. You can find me over at twitter.com therapod underscore art. There, I pretty much post all my updates and art, and all all manner of nonsense. So if you like dinosaurs, D and D, furry shit, that you go there. It's fun. It's happy. It's wonderful. Um. Twitch.tv slash art no underscore. That's that's where I stream. I have a Patreon. Therapod Art. There you get to see titties a month early. Do you like titties? Go there. I do. Yeah. Movies. And that's 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 all I got going. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I believe it's just me last and they can find me oh yeah oh is it, it now skipped it lanny did. but oh. you know oh fuck. man i'm i am i am apologize lanny where can they find you it's okay there's a lot of people here uh well when i'm not loving on some titties you can mm. oh <laughs> good man good man good man <laughs> <laughs> you, can find, you can find me all around the internet at Lanny Pator. Uh, if you're not all D&D'd out here on Monday, I run a little campaign called The Ties That Bind. Connor and Caitlin join for that, as well as our buddy Shadow Dancer Bob. Uh, right now, they're trying to set right a world that is on fire and maybe go back in time and fix some stuff. But uh, who, who knows what will happen along the way? 
So feel free to pop in, check out what's going on there. Uh, beyond that, I've been playing some Alan Wake. We'll probably continue to do so tomorrow. And as soon as I'm done with that, I do plan on moving on to Metroid Dread. But man, we're, we're moving into that season where like a bunch of games are going to start coming out real quick. But mm -hmm. love me some titties, though. Anyway, that's me. <laughs> Mommy milkers. No! <laughs> All right. And now I believe that's everybody except for me. Correct. Uh, they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Nipple. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I played some Atmosphere with my friends Probate, Hey Mr. Rabbit, and Count Widget. Uh, that was a lot of fun. It was a hell of an experience. If you haven't watched it, please go watch the VOD. It is pretty great. Uh, Wednesdays, I'm here. DMing this game that you just watched. Yeah. Uh, what? What? Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I basically just play uh, whatever, one, whoever decides to show up, a bunch of party games, stuff like that. Saturdays, I'm playing through uh, the Yakuza series before Ravenloft, right here. Twitch.tv slash The Unexpectables, every Saturday for the month of October. And Sunday, I'm playing Wildermyth, a fantastic little game uh, that I highly recommend. Another game that I highly recommend is Dead House Sonata the action RPG where you play as the dead to fight the living. The spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane series. One of my favorite game series of all time. If you're so interested, please click the link in the chat. Be sure to check it out. They got all sorts of crazy fun lore stuff coming out. Uh, and also check out my DMs Guild where I'll be releasing the Fanged King Warlock Patron sometime this month. Vampire-themed Warlock Patron with all sorts of great flavor. Nice. Uh, Do you have O positive as one of the flavors? It's a matter yes. of perspective, really. Uh, and with that, I'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor for uh, this evening's escapades, Die Hard Dice. Rolled a lot of these today. Die Hard Dice. <laughs> That's right. Die Hard Dice. Uh, for all your dice and dice accessories needs, it's Die Hard Dice. Uh, you can they you can do this. You can yeah. cut a lot of you can cut a lot of HP out of your Ritzel Vixel Plixes that way. <laughs> <laughs> Curse your players. Yeah. I'm like Anthony. Uh, just just go have fun. Yeah. Um. Also, they have their blacklight dice out now. A fantastic little dice that glow under UV light. They come in both polymer and metal flavors uh don't eat them though um yeah don't they look they look fantastic and they glow very brightly under uv light they also have a uv light that attaches to your die hard dice dice tray and plugs right into a usb and so you can have uh fun with your uv die hard dice and that is just the coolest shit and if you it's true and if you go there and Go to dieharddice.com. Use the code UNEXPECTABLE! Exclamation point. You can save 10% off your entire order. Oh, by the way, if you go to uh, Dead House Sonata as well, uh, if you purchase a Founders Pack and enter in the code TREAT, you can save 10% off your Founders Pack as well. Codes for everybody. Yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's code TREAT for Dead House Sonata and code UNEXPECTABLE! Exclamation point. For Die Hard Dice. And with that, I'm going to some business of. Bubs. Goblin in a kobold suit. Thank you for the 25 bits. Talk about a fire festival. Hey. Indeed. The Adam oh. Bomb. Thank you for the 100 bits. I actually had a friend who, in our campaign, asked his DM if he could will himself to change his race. He rolled a crit 20, so the DM rolled a percentage die. He got a 5, so the DM let him become a changeling rogue. Uh, and he, be he, became oh. a le he became a legend, and everybody remembered him. <laughs> a very kind <laughs> DM. Mm. <clears throat> well. I see. Viridian Winter... <laughs> Uh, 
Viridian Winter, thank you for the 19 months. Gorilla Geek, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Tonk. Punch. Why? Boom. Punch. Are you? Punch. Making me punch. Do this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Precisely. The Dungeon Run. Thank you for the raid with a party of 85. Appreciate that. Oh, wow. Sounds like there's some fun D&D action over there at the Dungeon Run. River Rat. Thank you for the 10 bits. Episode title, Grease Fire or The Floor is Lava. The floor is lava is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Zen Lita, thank you for the 200 bits. Tonk opened the chest with the power of friendship and extreme violence. Yeah. Gorilla Geek, thank you for the 80 bits. Uh, anime schoolgirl Tonk, I feel pretty. <laughs> I feel <laughs> pretty. Kawaii des. Okay. Oh my uh, <laughs> the Callum, thank you for the 100 bits. A necromancer chef is arrested for using dark magic to try and raise the unbred. Hey, <laughs> oh, oh, it's so oh my loud. goodness. <laughs> oh my, it's like an explosion. It really I love is. it. An explosion of flavor. No. <laughs> Gorilla Geek, you thank you for the 100 bits. The next session, the group must fight Ritzel's weakness, a dragon with big tits. Oh my Oh goodness. shit. That's my weakness. I'm big the scaly. dragon. Gauze 21, thank you for the 20 bits. Uh, here's my hot take. Hobgoblins and bugbears are the slow bro and slow king soft goblins. Oh my. First of all, as long as I'm the king. Ow, ow, ow. A happy nobody. Thank you, you for okay? 16 months of prime subage. Damn, Griggles must be buff from all that deadlifting. <laughs> oh wow. 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 What a that pun. That is great. Wow. That I'm one proud is of you great. and upset. <laughs> I'm upset at how proud I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was, that was pretty humorous. Good job. No, leave Pharaoh. <laughs> you don't get praise for that one. Okay. God, 21, thank you for the five bits. Achievement unlocked. Not my ass. Magic Ninjago, 10 years of Spinjutsu. Thank you for the 100 bits. Just getting it going. And Gorilla Geek, 21, thank you for the 100 bits. Last bits to give Tonk a belly rub. Oh. Aw. Yeah, they need Tonk, him. yet again, bristle brush, like, blushes. Bristle blush. Mm. Thank you. Totally stiff as a board. Enjoying it, but not sure how to feel. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do compliments deactivate Tonk? Yes. Oh, wow. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and with that... I think it's time to raid somebody. Hell Whoa. yeah, baby. Let's see. I see. Hey, Mr. Uh -oh. Rabbit. That damn cat. Thank you for raiding with the party at 12. I'm sorry. Oh. oh. <laughs> Get ready for a raid we'll, transfer. We'll carry yeah. a raid into our own. You'll add to our power. I see Paper Box House. I see oh. Octo. There, there is someone that if you want to, like, blow their mind it would be cute mm. uh i'm i'm voice in monster hunter and i was watching someone stream some of it and they had my voice and i was like oh uh so i followed them and they're really adorable like their reactions are just the cutest <laughs> link, link them uh -huh. in general uh let's them see it's in general you said i'm in general yeah. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always in general. Nah. Right there. Aw, their icon's cute. They're like one of the most happy people I've ever been around. I think they, 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 they do a lot of charity and stuff too, so. Well, so name is Cake, please. Cake, please. Please, Cake. I want no, cake. in fact, it was just uh, yeah, stale why bread. <laughs> yeah. Why not? This should be funny. 
Yeah, it will be adorable. Be nice, everybody. Be yes. wholesome beans. Wait, what did we say the raid message was? Don't, Don't vom on my skeleton. Don't vom on my, my skeleton. skeleton. Yeah. Don't vom on my skeleton. In my no skeleton. What we're in, Don't, in don't my vom skeleton. in my skeleton. Okay. Here we go, friends. That's our raid message. Okay. Don't good, vom everybody. in my skeleton. We'll see you this Saturday for Ravenloft. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.